Because I'm worth it. Yeah. Hello. Poor just were getting elbowed by dancing. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that in the yeah, corner. Like none of the music in my headphones. Yeah. Is- <laughs> I never see me dance because he obviously can't see the little webcams while the oh, yeah. intro. Yeah, I can catch the end, so she like. Oh, I'm always oh, like, ooh, oh. <laughs> <It's funny. laughs> yeah. So Hi. yeah, if you guys have noticed, extra girl and this brew are still in Vegas. Yes, it's yes totally- we are. <laughs> Uh, so Disbrew has got a what? You look like you're spying on the chat. Me? <laughs> the background photo. Yeah, right? Uh, oh. Here. Oh! Oh, yeah, there's just your eyeball in the <laughs> Don't say anything dirty, okay? <laughs> he looks like Secret <laughs> Right now, Mark just looked like Secret Service. He's walking by with the glasses on. He's got to go get Disbrew whiskey. So, yeah, Disbrew's got Mark getting him whiskey. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. You guys should have heard this earlier. So... Disbrew tried truly for the first time. Oh, it was horrible. Yeah. What? He, he... Oh, truly? <laughs> yeah. Oh, I thought, oh, I have the I like the cherry one. I thought the entire point was to hide the flavor of the vodka, not to make it work, taste worse. The point was to have low calories. In yeah. Vodka is my zero point. calories on its own. Which one is that? What do you have there? Raspberry? Oh, raspberry. And then Can you say ra- I like how I like how British people say raspberry. Raspberry. See, Can maybe maybe it was the watermelon one. Yeah, the watermelon one. Ew. Do you, want, do you yeah. want to try any of these? I like the cherry one, the lemon one, and the blueberry one. I have a few in my fridge. Maybe I should have got a truly and matched you guys. <laughs> also, They're probably flat. Chat. Hi, chat. Oh, yeah. Hi. You guys are here, too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Been here the whole time. Oh, face. no. <laughs> he drinks whiskey on the rocks. That is not his cup of tea. He likes oh. progressive whiskey It doesn't taste this. anything like pineapple. I don't even know what it's meant to be. <laughs> oh. that's disgusting <laughs> we've had a fun time <laughs> <laughs> like why, so who can take spirits and make them taste worse that actually is americans a, apparently yeah. according to the brit <laughs> and look at i'm like with you guys in spirit there's big ben on my cup because it's the peter pan cup <laughs> it's when they fly fast like big ben would be in london yeah, it's like I'm in London in spirit. What, my cup not? is on. My cup is in London. I don't know. <laughs> yeah. I've already, I'm done. You're on. A, you're, not, you're on the wrong continent. You're actually closer normally. <laughs> this room needs his desk milk. I think he's okay. I'm sure there's milk in there somewhere. Yeah, we can get Mark to get milk. milk this week. <laughs> we could get him to get milk. <laughs> well, <laughs> well, he's like I wouldn't say it's no. It's a hangover cure. Is it actually? Yeah. Yeah, that's the way I normally avoid hangovers. I drink milk before I go to sleep and wake up and it's fine. Oh my God. I used Interesting. To, I found out when I used to drink cider, because cider used to really destroy my stomach in the morning, and I never had it with milk. Mm, maybe it coats it. Oh, yeah, maybe. That's very but true. Anyways, yes. anyways how how's Vegas been? What, what have you guys been doing? Meet drinking? Ups. <laughs> I, I mean, I haven't been drinking much. I was DD last night, surprisingly. Oh. I know. No, I'm not I surprised. Know. You were you were DD for me too. <laughs> so I, that's true. I had alcoholic slush like slushies, which I didn't oh, even yeah. know was a thing. Oh yeah, you I've had the... wine slushies before. They're good. Yeah, oh, yeah well, they taste nice. And this like guy had like two drinks from there. The two slushy drinks. The two slushies, yeah, and then it was whiskey very later. Coated. And Steph was like, we should keep drinking. I'm like, no. <laughs> no, no, I don't need more. Like, those slushies, I don't know what was in them, but it was a lot. <laughs> it was sugary, very sugary. It tasted good, though. Uh, every I'm... time I, I stood up, I'm like, look, these don't do anything. Like, Max said they were, they were, like, really strong. And the moment I started walking to him, it hit me. Like, every time. By the time I walked down to him, I'm like, oh, okay, they do work. Yeah. <laughs> Definitely feels weird. <laughs> Yeah, we miss you, Wicked. I wish you were here. I know. I wish I could have came. I'm missing out on all the fun, but I'm glad <laughs> you guys are having fun. Oh. I've had 
For the first meetup in Orlando, I had a rum slushy at City Walk. Did you have one of those actually when you were there at City Walk? Oh, it was like the New Orleans. Uh, I think it was a New Orleans like a uh, stand, but I had a, it was really good, but oh, hard hitting. Yes, I didn't need it. I barely drank drink any out of the slushy yep. at first, and I don't know whether the alcohol was all at the top, <laughs> but it, it was. Wild. I will say this: if you drink through a straw, it gets you more drunk. Really? Is it because you get like more of the alcohol or something? Like the ice doesn't go in as well, so you're just like straight up drinking the alcohol. Yeah, but I I am convinced that with <laughs> drink through the straw, it gets you more drunk. Maybe the aeration as the Drink is going through the straw. I Maybe, know. you know, there's like a science behind how McDonald's has their straws. Have you heard this? Like the actual size. They're not, not every straw is like that. Like they have it a certain way so that the, the soda comes through and it just tastes better. I don't know. There's like a whole Ooh, science behind the, McDonald's uh, soda. No, no, they, they've copyrighted the way the soda comes out of the, the soda machine. It is the best because the way they cool the fluids makes it taste better. And instead of bags, like I don't know if anyone here has ever worked in a restaurant and had to change like the uh, fountain drink. It's usually in plastic, like the syrup that you have to like put through that goes milk. through. And then <laughs> it's in a bag. Like, well, the syrup is. There's the comes in like a, a steel container bag. or something that keeps it fresher. It's, it's, they got a whole thing, like right down to the straw. So Milk shouldn't be in a bag. That's, that's that is kind of weird. I've never seen that. Now, if I had like desk bag milk, that'd be even worse. He just, he, just, he, just, he just has a straw, picks up a bag. But I can't put it down now, it'll go everywhere. <laughs> no, there, we have little containers that we put it in to help pour it out. So Our containers are what the milk comes in. <laughs> <laughs> it seems like even more plastic waste that you create. Oh, so, Disru had a alcohol slushy and he liked it. That's great. Yes, he did. Yes. Uh, I think Disfru is having some of the most fun in his life. I'm I, I I'm happy you made it out. Honestly, <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you made it very out. Very different of it. This is why it's weird when people go. Americans don't have a culture. It's like no, that's just because you live here. You don't recognize it. But you you guys can go anywhere in the world. You will be recognized as American. Americans act very differently. Very like, true. I, I still remember in London when uh, Kriegler was walking through a crowd and he was just like, make way, make way. Everyone Don't really ever say that. Oh really? God. Make yeah. way. It was like every single person in that room knew he was American. <laughs> <laughs> and holy moly, we got to say hi to Raider. I'll get to the other chats in just one second. But whoa, excuse me, sir. Thank you, Raider, for the 102.43. I love that he adds the tax. Or I don't know if it's the exact <laughs> yeah. tax, but it's Raider tax. So thank you. Saucy. Very saucy. Yeah. Right. Saucy. And... 10 gifted memberships. Welcome to the Potato Squad, you 10 people. And thank you so much, Raider. Here, you get a thumbs up. Aww. Aww. When I Aww. originally clipped that, I didn't know that she was saying, Aww. I'm like, oh, I'm just going to clip our thumbs. And then I uploaded it and I was like, Aww. I was like, wait. At least, well, most of the clips just have X ray at the end. Yeah. <laughs> <I'm> <laughs> so I, yes. You're a hype girl. Honestly. You are. <laughs> Okay, let me get the. I didn't forget about you guys. I just Raider was just like, you know what? Boom. That's why there's a bomb emoji on my kick because Raider just goes, doesn't say I anything. Feel like Raider like put his uh, philosophical pee pee on the table, and we need to address it. <laughs> <laughs> philosophical pee pee broke the it's table with it. <laughs> 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 he had to, he had to interact. <laughs> he had to react it. Oh my god! You guys are probably making, you guys are probably making Raider blush. <laughs> Thank you, Raider. Oh my god! <laughs> if you get a hard on with something that big, you'll die. <laughs> you'll die. That's actually terrifying. Um, yeah, there literally isn't enough blood in your body. <laughs> he goes through life. He's like, please. It's like, um, oh, who was it? Was it in The Simpsons? Where he's like, think on sexy thoughts, think on sexy thoughts, think on sexy thoughts. I think it was The Simpsons. I'm not sure. I mean, I I definitely do not remember. <laughs> I'm pretty sure. Like that. That. There's something going on in a movie. <laughs> That's it. 
I remember so Austin Powers when he was trying not to like be turned on. And what do you say, like Margaret Margaret Thatcher naked out a whole a cold day or something like that? <laughs> <laughs> that that's what I'm thinking of. Yeah, <laughs> like, yep, that'll do it. Uh, Stephen, I, De- De- I almost said Delorean. Wow. Uh, Stephen DeLorean De Leon. De Leon. Thank you for the five dollars. My favorite lesbian, Miss Brew. Did Gary's wife cut your hair? Yes, she did. There's a clip oh. of the revealed somewhere. Yeah, I think it was uh, Steph. Yes. Yeah. I, I it's all done with a razor as well. Of him which I didn't his even, hair. I didn't even know you could do that with a razor, but apparently you don't need scissors. I was impressed. Wait, she did it only with a razor? All with a razor. Yeah. Oh, nice. He looks That's done. good. It looks saying. nice. It looks like you get, now when you do your hair flip, there's more volume. And, and she said... She uh, volumized it. It was... Uh, I always said that, like, if I go to the hairdresser and say, "What do you want?" So I don't know, and she's like, "No, she's like, no, I'm this kind of hairdresser. I will tell you what you like. <laughs> like, like I will tell you what works best for you. Like, yeah, that's actually what it's I like, want. You it's will like, sit, and I will do what I need to well, do, and you will like it. <laughs> well, that's the best thing to be. It's like I don't know anything about hair. You're a hairdresser. Like, you you've been doing this for years. You, you'll be able to look at people no better. Prison haircut. Just yeah. got a prison haircut. That's awesome. That's that's not something you can say yeah, every day. You got a Gary, prison haircut it? from Gary's. <laughs> Oh my god! It, it gives like a, a tattoo on the back as it, at the same time. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Still using a razor. Sneak peek. Oh yeah, that's me. I'm watching you chat. <laughs> <laughs> Happy birthday, Mark! Says Stephen DeLeon. Oh yeah, it's Mark's birthday every day. He's Guys, yeah. these super thank you for the two me for my birthday. When is your birthday? Four days. Four days. I knew it was in uh, April. I couldn't remember what exact day it was. All right. I remember. It'll be be like the only day that isn't Mark's birthday will be his actual birthday or April Fool's. And April's (laughs) birthday. Even my own birthday will be his birthday. (laughs) I know people will say happy birthday to Mark instead. So four days, guys. Mark it on your calendars. Uh, Justin Martin, thank you for the 10. Hey, all. Good to see you. Hopefully Extra Girl isn't corrupt. Hasn't corrupted your delicate sensibilities, Dispru. Stay strong, brother. Delicate sensibilities. Dispru is not delicate. <laughs> I promise you, he is savage. <laughs> in, in my last video, I was he's just... got a, he's got a like a. I mean, Mark's basically crippled, right? Yeah, he's got him getting him whiskey right now. He's <laughs> yeah. like, like whiskey. I've never milk. Made Mark do that. <laughs> Mark slept for twelve hours last Damn, night. Damn, bro. That's like th- three days worth of sleep for me. But on the last video, <laughs> when I was checking it through, I was clicking random spots on an every single spot. I was insulting somebody. It was like, like rapid fire. I could click any place <laughs> in the video. I'm just insulting someone. Sorry, we have Aiden on the couch literally laughing at everything we're saying right now. <laughs> Good. <laughs> Front row Good. seat. <laughs> <laughs> The debauchery. It's like it's like the stand he like uh, the stand up. Everyone in there gets like that a stand up version of saucy for you guys. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> One house at a time. You go around the world. We do house tours. Yeah. Yes. Look uh check the website for the next uh show. <laughs> You're like, well, wait, what's the website? We don't have a website. website. I'm just kidding. I don't know. So there's no permission. We, don't have we just one. wait till they go on holiday and then turn up. It's like, <laughs> they come back. It's just broken into. MTV Steve. <laughs> oh, wait a minute. Let me grab my sign in one second. MTV Steve, thank you for the 10. What you drinking, Wicked? Love your red blazer. I'm drinking a dry uh, blackberry wine. It's a dry one. Thank you, Tara, for sending me this. It's not it's sweet. It's really liquid. It's liquid. <laughs> Love your red blazer. Um, well, it's thank you. It's just like a thin. It's actually supposed to be like over like a swimsuit thing, but I have a few of them in different colors, and I wear them over my tank tops because they're light, and they're comfortable, and they're cute. But thank you. <laughs> I just gave a whole like paragraph. <laughs> <laughs> he just said, "I, I like your shoulders." I guess. I guess it looks up. like. I guess it looks like. Uh, someone said it looks like, like really cool, like an eighty shoulder pad thing. I'm like, nah, those are just my shoulders. <laughs> The 80s was weird. Their shoulders are like up here and out to here. I never understood <laughs> that. Power shoulder suit. pads. This power suit with the shoulder pads. All yeah, I, I don't. I don't even like suits that have even slightly bigger shoulders. It Not looks comfortable. Well, no, it I wouldn't odd. think that. Everyone looks like they're just square. It's weird. <laughs> oh my god! Did someone say Bob? Did what? You... <laughs> when I said oh my god! Luhu, <laughs> Iger, the talenter. <laughs> Thank you for the one nine nine. Psychotic mongoose. 
<clears throat> member for six months. Thank you, Mongoose. Hail to the saucy trio and chat. Uh oh, this Which one's for you, X Ray. Your son's in the chat. <laughs> Wang Jay's Asian son for one ninety nine says, "Mom, come home. Dad's been hanging out with Aunt Gina a lot. That's fine. We like Aunt Gina. Um, it's fine. It's fine. You know. <laughs> we uh, hey, hold on. Aunt Gina, Keep talking. I, I gotta grab something. Go. Uh, I, I, if I had a chance for Gina, I'd go for it. Well, sorry, Mark." <laughs> it's all right. Mark's not here. He, he'll never know. He'll never know. What, what he doesn't know won't. Oh know. my god! Sorry for saucy. I love this. Wiley Dave sent this to me, and the next time I see X Ray, I'm gonna make sure I have it with me so that we can take a picture holding it. <laughs> it just was there at some point. I'll make sure I bring it too. But we'll take a picture, and it'll be like our. It'll probably be our new ending thing. Yeah. By the <laughs> way, <laughs> guys, um, Blabs got AI. AI'd into a man. Yes. Should we share it? And a toque on top. Yes. I'm going to share so it. Hold on. I, I got make it. out with blabs, I'm basically making it with Mark. Yeah. I, that's Shit. It's not cheating because it's the same person. I think so. Yeah. That's how it works. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Someone also put, I don't know whose face that. Okay. There's, did you know there's another one with Mark's face on a girl on blabs? It's right under it. No. Oh, God. Does he look like Blast? Uh, oh, is that what the left one was? It's under because, it. Because if it was, is it the one with short hair? Can we Here, share hold it? On. I want to yeah, see I'm it. Yeah, I'm sharing it. I got it. I didn't see this one yet. It's in the comments. So yeah. there's this one. Uh, no, I did. I thought they were both Blabs. I thought that was Mark. Yeah. Creepy. Well, uh, yeah, that uh, looks uh, like uh, Mark. Uh, no. No. Yeah, they're both Blabs. I know they're both blabs, but this one. There's also this. Oh, I didn't know. I mean, Mark to blabs does not look like blabs. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's horrifying. That's horrifying. That is going to be a hard fat for anyone. Yeah. I mean, that's my manager. Okay. I can manage this. There you go. Now, the girl apps don't know how to remove. Yeah. The only time I look good is when there's one picture of me that looks like shit. So disturbing, though. It's, <laughs> it's Mark the Collector, the blabbering cyborg. The blabbering cyborg. I love it. <laughs> oh, there you go. Look at that. Damn, blabs looking good. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I wasn't interested in blabs until she put on the beard. <laughs> oh. Oh no. Okay. I mean, I'm into beards. Hey, I'll say. <laughs> hey, it's a, that's what she said. If something happens with Blabs, it's not. Not that Blabs has one, but never mind. She's going to be like, hey, guys, stop that. <laughs> <laughs> She's going to get mad at us. <laughs> Wicked Steel's been a member for 10 months. Whoa, almost a year being a potato. And Disbrew got a prison style haircut. Yes. You never know what could happen in Vegas. I mean, really. Disbrew got it. Hey, a very voluminous haircut. At least it'd end up in prison. That's always a bonus. That is That's true. true. That's that good. That is true. That's a, a two thumbs up. <laughs> <laughs> Abs not black. Especially blabs. with that haircut. <laughs> I've, I've already heard the Goldilocks story. I don't, I don't need to know what they'd come up oh with. Oh my for god! Me. So I was talking last night to uh, Joshua McDonald, um, and we were chatting about how at a club, at a gay club, you have to be careful because someone might try to um do you as a man and you know i was like that sounds like prison you know i just up against the wall <laughs> so gay clubs and it's prison, prison but everyone went there voluntarily <laughs> <laughs> so yeah anyways i thought that was a fun reflection on the world so yeah <laughs> i wish to do me <laughs> you the way you said it sorry um, what did i say you said like, what did you say? Do try and do you? She said, do you? <laughs> I think it was. What can I get? A la what can I get away with? How can I phrase this? <laughs> they might and try and. Uh... <laughs> no, go ahead. No, that's what, what happened. It's like they might try and. Oh. Uh, I know you can see like the cogs turning. It's like running oh. through different words. <laughs> What I feel like I should have got a truly. I have a fridge full of them and I just never drink them because I mean they're not the best. They're disgusting. But... <laughs> yeah, he hates them. 
<laughs> I know we got to try two now. They're both awful. <laughs> try the cherry. It's, it's a little bit better. Uh, ben Ryder, thank you for the five. Disparu, you're you preparing yourself to review Velma season two? Does the trip help numb the pain in advance? <laughs> yes, I, I think Vegas numbs everything. Um, <laughs> yeah. I have quantities of alcohol. We're numb just everything. perpetually drunk this entire time. Yes, it's uh, I might have been. But uh, I might have been. <laughs> that was Honestly. the thing with Velma. They're dropping it all on one day. And I can't remember whether they did it before. They they... didn't have whiskey. Here you go. No. Cheers. Thank you, dude. Wine? Yeah. Wine's the closest thing. What is this? Wine's the closest to whiskey? I mean, I have beer. Hold on. Mark just sent so something else. And then cool. Look at this. And I had a feeling we didn't want this. Well, it, it, it's because it's like, it's not actual pineapple. It looks like a stripper. <laughs> what on earth? Uh, I think we're going to see this exact stripper tonight. Yeah, Probably. that's that, that's it. Mark if he was a female stripper. <laughs> well, <laughs> the chat's gonna be like, "Wait a minute, let me save that." That save. that is an easier fap than uh, blabs to uh, uh, well, uh, Mark to blabs or whatever. To blabs. Blabs. Or Mark on blabs' <laughs> body doesn't work quite as well. <laughs> oh my goodness! Um, hold on. Oh yeah, happy. Oh, there you go. Justin Marsh for five. Happy birthday month Thank year, X ray yeah. girl. There you go. I'm going to take the whole year to celebrate because I'm a girl. Yeah. It's like your birth month, your birth week, birth year, whatever. <laughs> the whole year. Steve De De Leon. I, I keep saying them. DeLorean. <laughs> oh, yeah. He refused to order it. He wouldn't try it? Well, well Just I'm, not gonna, I'm not going to order a random food that I'm not, I have no intention of eating. Well, someone else should order it. I know. No, someone did. I saw them, and it was just like a bowl. They should give you a little bite. Weird. They, like you couldn't even see the actual food. A bowl of weird. weird. Yeah, <laughs> okay, it was uh, like a white thank blob. You for the two. It was, yeah, it did not look appetizing at all. Biscuits and gravy, in terms of color, just look so bland. Yeah, and it was a very different consistency than I was expecting. I expected like at, like at least normal gravy. It was this far one... thicker white fluid than I was expecting. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> that See, terrible. Now you're like, oh, now I don't know. Well, no, no, uh, thank yeah, you. I'm just, no, describing no, describe on, I'm, I'm just describing the wrong biscuits and gravy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, oh, otherwise, oh. It'd be like custard, otherwise, it'd be custard you need your bell. like meat gravy. You'd be like, what on earth is this? I don't even know what you call brown gravy over here. Gravy? Well, we just gravy. call it gravy, but you call... Yeah, but you have to distinguish between the two types of gravy. Oh, so the gravy that they have here, I don't think it's actually like meat based. Uh, how you're supposed to make gravy off of the fluids of the the meat. Yeah, like the stock. Yes, yeah, the stock. Mm -hmm. So that's probably why it has a white coloring versus a brown coloring. As you saw Roto go, what the hell is for? No one was, now, no one can eat it. I was just uh, describing this, the gravy. This one, <laughs> this one is for you, Disbrew. Thank you for the 10. Uh, Disbrew, how long do you think you have to be in the US before you start talking like an American? Uh, Never. Yeah, very, very, very long time. I've been in the UK way too long to be, to pick up that kind of accent. Especially as, well, maybe it's a Vegas thing, but there's so many broad varieties of accents. I'm not mm. even sure if there is a last So Vegas many varieties accent. of Americans over there. <laughs> yes. No, it's true. It's like you got your New York, Boston, uh, Southern, and Boston. Different, different Southern accents I'm walking too. in. That's walking New York. In. <laughs> <laughs> it's my favorite American thing. phrase. At the car park. And, and, why do you, and, and why do you think Americans are awful at British accents when Brits can usually imitate us? I, I could try and imitate off a video. Uh, but it's because they all do the Cockney accent from Mary Poppins. It's the only accent they know. And it's an American pretending to do an English accent who has no idea what an English accent is and has actually gone on an interview and said, I didn't even really look it up. And it's the worst accent I've ever done. So every American learns the worst British accent ever done by Dick Van Dyke. And that's why they're all awful. Oh, yeah. Is Richard or is it actually Dick? I'm assuming it's Richard, otherwise he had really cruel parents. Yeah. <laughs> um, Maybe they just hated him, I don't know. Disparu, do you know what a valley or, or accent really is? Liked him. They're like, this'll do well. Do you know what a valley accent is? Valley girl? Oh, isn't that like the Californian? Like, the really oh annoying... Yeah, yes! Yeah. You understand Like, you go, go! It's like, can oh, you say, no. Can you say totally bitchin'? It's like totally bitchin'. <laughs> you know? Oh, so? 
He doesn't care. He's I sad for real. He's in Vegas. <laughs> I love how wicked, like, clips only disparate. Yes, yes. <laughs> and my voice today, like, because I've been shouting. I have a couple of x ray, but you're just so clippable. I know x ray says things I've sometimes. I sent you but... clips of x ray, you never use them. You sent me the one clip, and I put it on last week <laughs> without her permission. Oh, no, oh, yeah, actually, I do remember that. I think, yeah. I did, so don't even. I have more. But yours work, like, for everything. Are you drinking wine? Well, this is for some reason Mark brought wine. I don't know. That wine is whiskey. Apparently, wine was the closest I could get to whiskey. Apparently, wine is the closest you can get to whiskey. Okay, take it. I need. I need to see him take a swig of that. He's gonna make a face. Probably. I'm gonna, I hate wine. Face, wine tastes like rotting grapes. Um. No. Oh, no, I accidentally unstuck. Hold I on. Drink spirits. Here we go. Poor Disparu, stuck drinking <laughs> wine. Fine. He's he's gonna like that better than the truly probably because like, I'll be well, honest, truly's and like white claws kind of taste like static. Well, <laughs> what it, static it's so weird. Like? like it's not. It doesn't taste anything like pineapple, and it doesn't taste like pineapple flavoring. It tastes like rotting pineapple that has then been aerated, and so you just get hit with bubbles and disgusting flavoring. <laughs> it's like what? Did, why would anyone drink this? Did you try Mexican food? Uh, no. Did you have the tacos from uh, the venue? No, I always, I, I don't think I ever even got to go outside. Like everywhere I walked, I got he was hounded. This is why it's my like... voice was going because like you were talking so much and yelling over yeah, you, like you the basically music. like shout for five hours and then yep. it wasn't just one meetup, but then we then did another one and then I was like, oh okay, at least on Friday there's not going to be a meetup, so I won't do it. And then we went to a bar and ended up shouting throughout the rest of the night as well. Yeah, we went to Meow Wolf, which by the way, uh, very fun place to go to. Uh, they had a club barcade kind of area, and throughout the night, the music got louder and louder and louder until we're us old. So you guys are like, hello? Yeah. No, no. Kara yeah, and I we... were like, we're too old for this. So we told everyone we're leaving, and we'll like, sit at the front. We're, and we're gonna go people. play on. We're gonna go play on our switches in bed. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> they had Time Crisis too, which I've not because they had all the games. I was like, no, I only played Light Blaster games. Um, you won your game that you played that Steph posted on Instagram, X Men. Yes, yeah. Uh, I'm, I'm I'm more of a gamer than Steph. I'm not. I, I think no, we could guess that one. I think most men are better than women at games, and that's fair to say. I think well, it is. There's gonna, there, you might there might be a couple girls in the chat that get mad, but I have always stated that when well, I was younger, I, I had help on with average. certain things. Like when I beat Super Mario Brothers, my brother and my cousin helped me get there well, because yeah. it's just it, it's because men evolved to, men evolved to hunt, so it you needed like hand eye coordination for spears. Yeah, and, like, that's exactly why. But uh -huh. try to beat me in Animal Crossing. I bet you won't. Oh. She will plant the hell out of you. Okay, <laughs> she will school you off. Yeah. She, she will have been more that. turnip stocks than ever before. I have to reinstall that. I played it for a little bit on the Switch. I was obsessed with it for the 3DS. I even had, like, you know when you walk into the mayor's office and you can pick your song for, like, the town? It was Yeah by Usher. It was like, do, 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 do. Every time. I loved it. That's I had so amazing. much fun. I will say. Do that for my Switch one. Have you played Stellar Blade yet? No, because I don't have a PC. Oh, or PS5. This is why I wish yeah. it was a PC game. I definitely would. It, it eventually good. will. He'll play it. It'll come to PC at some point, but I don't know when. Oh, I had so much fun playing it. I was like, wait a minute. I think people want me and X-Ray to do the two cause plays. What's her name? Tachi and Eve. Tachi. 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 Yeah. I was Tachi. like, maybe. Tachi, sorry. Tachi, Tachi and Eve. Oh. You can I do, do someone Eve. Name. I'll do Tachi. We'll work on it. <laughs> um, Hold on, hold on. I missed something. Uh, Haran, thank you for being a member for four months. Does tacky mean the same thing in the US that it does in the UK? Do you think you could say this as fast No. Oh, then no. Ta tacky in the UK means cheap. It's oh, tacky. T-A-C-K-Y. Yeah, T -A -C -K -Y. yeah, okay, if, yeah. If, 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 like, if you... That's why I thought it was tachy, because it's C-H. She spells it like the Latin suffix for two words. I think, I think tacky, because, yeah, like... Hard. Yeah, but it's still just said. It's like, if you're like, I, what are you? I'm tacky. It's like, not a compliment. Can you say this uh, fast, this brew? Uh, seashells, saucy seashells, by the saucy seashore saucy. 
I would have messed that up. He said, like, there. he said it like a like a robot saucy, <laughs> like an AI. Well, I was like focusing end. on doing all the okay. exercises. <laughs> <laughs> Justin Martin, thank you for another five. Proper homemade biscuits and gravy is delicious. Done poorly, it's just paste. Hit and mess where you get it from. That's yeah. Absolutely. Homemade is better with this, everything. I'm not gonna say where it was actually. <laughs> uh, so you don't want to dox yourselves. We, <laughs> where we went for where you last are. night's dinner, it was a place called Kaya. Really good food. Their steamed, uh, like Chinese dumplings were disgusting to me. But really, I didn't like them. Hmm. But I ate them still. Like it still filled up. But I like, still ate them. To- but they were, <laughs> they were <laughs> horrible. Didn't stop. Compared to the proper Chinese way to <laughs> do it, it was good. Yeah. yeah, I don't like um, just the Vietnamese instincts just kicked in. I don't like uh, dumplings that are that, that are too like thick. Right, you don't know what you next. <laughs> what did I miss? <laughs> like, I was thinking about dumplings. Viet Chinese people are just just they, they, it's like it's like uh, the you know Germans and other people. <laughs> Germans and other people. <laughs> I'm not saying it on YouTube. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, Jeff Spit, Jeff Spitzer, thank you for the five. Brown gravy just gravy and is made with stock. White gravy is either called sausage gravy or pepper gravy, unless it's part of the dish. The more you know, the, I knew it was something yes. like that. Stock but, gravy's better. What people don't say with sausage yeah, gravy, they just go is way with better because it tastes like meat. I love meat. <laughs> <laughs> That, that was is. a really weird time for Wicked to just not say anything. <laughs> I know. It was like, no, like we, we'll just let it hang baby. there for a while. <laughs> <laughs> you pronounce my last name like Ponce de Leon. Did I say that right? Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon. Ponce de Leon. Is it French, Stephen? Stephen de Leon. De, de Leon. De Leon. No, I, I want to say DeLorean so bad. <laughs> de Leon. I don't know okay. who Ponce is, so. I never heard of Ponce. <laughs> Ponce. Ponce. Ponce is another word that in the UK has an entirely different <laughs> what is Magnum that Norse. Thank you for the 10. Women are great at Mario Brothers. Also handy at Kitchen Simulator. Yeah. Pretty good at that game. It's not really Kitchen Simulator if you're in the actual kitchen, is it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Okay. Uh, so let's get to one of our first. What do you guys want to talk about first? We have a couple of things. Ooh, um, let's talk about booties. Okay. Perfect. Let me. Okay, here it is. Let me present. And you guys said you haven't watched any of this yet, right? Okay. <laughs> no. A, a, a pretentious or affected a feet man. A ponce. Yeah. A man oh. who lives off a prostitute. <laughs> well, that's it. Yeah, I wasn't going to read wow. that one out loud. <laughs> uh, oh, okay. So... Actually, well. <laughs> <laughs> so... I didn't actually know that was one of the meanings, to be honest. I knew the top one. Uh, when I saw this post, I just thought, like, how how do you equate for Mudahar, by the way, the a booty as a corn addiction? Well, yes, and it used to be uh, a thing where it's like, why would it be impressive in the first place? Everyone's got an ass, yes. but now we've actually evolved to the place where no, actually they don't. And now, if you just happen to exist as a person, oh my god, you must have some weird crippling addiction. You know what I thought of when I saw this? I have a lot of guy friends, too, that are heavily into modding on PCs and stuff. That's what I thought of. I'm like, this is what every man does when they have a PC yep. and they mod a girl. They make her thick with a booty and boobs and like... But guess what? That's what came to my mind right for a Same Girls do it, too. Yeah. I'm just saying, like, it's not... like I don't look at it as like a crippling corn addiction. That's so stupid. It's like, yeah, some girls don't have butts, sure, but some actually do. Like... I mean, and, and that's the thing. It's like and some guys prefer we, it. Why are we saying that because men like a booty that it automatically means something <laughs> super <laughs> negative, like an addiction? You're 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 being downright derogatory towards people who like a butt. It's yeah. It's like how women how dare like, you? I like someone who has big boobs or has breasts. Or um, you know, I like a guy who's muscular. What is does that mean? I have a corn addiction. Yes, according oh, okay. to Mutar, if you're attracted to Mark, you have a crippling addiction. Yeah, yeah. I, I love my husband. I yes. have a corn addiction. That's, that's disgusting. How I can't believe you, you dare Gross. say that on the internet. Gross. I'm leaving. Mutter, that's really nasty. Mutter Hall okay. would be absolutely <laughs> repulsed. Oh, it's wait, a sheer you know degeneracy. What? You know what? This is the perfect time for this. Damn. 
<laughs> you know I had to clip that. Sorry, Dan. Not sorry. That's going to be used a lot. The chat, the girls in the chat are going to be like. <laughs> Damn. I love that. Oh. It's perfect. <laughs> oh, my God. Did you see? So there's a guy that was at the meetup that looked like a mini Dan Vask. No, what? Or like an American version of Dan Vask. It was like, it was perfect. Dan Vask's straight younger brother. Dan Vask's straight younger <laughs> brother, yes. Thank you, Mark. You're so right. Maybe, maybe Dan Vask actually snuck over the border. And it was like, and I'm just pretending to be an American. <laughs> and he's not actually, he's actually very short. I don't know right, what you're talking about, but he said short, what, so. Do we know how tall Dan Vask is? I only ever see him sitting down. I don't know. It, what's weird is like, it's so I, I assume most people are around five, eight, five, nine in terms of mm -hmm. males. And then when I meet him, like this bro, shocker to me. Like he you're yeah, in six, London, loads of people kept commenting. Six one, six two? Six. Six. And then we have someone like Craig, who I thought was actually five eight. He was like six okay. five okay. or something like that. He's so tall. Everyone is five eight to extra girl. Every male, anyways. No, that's well, the average. Well, that's the issue. Good yeah, it is. If people ask how tall I am, I say six foot. But six foot is the 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 lie that everyone tells. That's true. They round up to it, so they just assume you are like five nine or something, but insecure. And it's like, no, this is just happens to be the exact thing. Mm -hmm. You know, with people like that. This sorry, back to the mm. corn addiction. We have evolved to have like things like Spanx. At this rate, do you think that with people making booties and boobs so like, ugh, will we have like people who bind themselves to kind of fit into society? And then we can't express ourselves who we are as a person because they're saying, you know, if you have these body parts, we don't like it. It's not actually that it, it, he's attacking the men. It's not about the women. No, but it, at somebody, some point, it will somebody... be that. No, because it, it's it's the uh, it, it's the men which are shaming it. It's the it's the women that are shaming it that don't have it in the first place, um, and it, they're only shaming it from the male side. They they would if that was an actual actress, they would never have shamed her for just having that in the first place. But they would shame you if you spoke about it and said you liked it. it it's literally just trying to get sort of the male perspective and make it seem as if it's something awful. We we've done it with everything else. It's like in schools, you know. Uh, men have to sit down and act like women. It, it's just society treats women as the default. And so if you do anything that a woman doesn't, it's seen as weird. I also think there's a bit of virtue signaling involved as well. It's like, look at me. I'm I'm above all of you. I can control myself. How, how I dare don't you mind a woman with a flat booty. This guy's a degenerate. Yeah, yeah. pretty much. And this, ch this page, the game characters AI, like they mess with pictures like this all the time but this must have just struck a, a nerve on M muta, muta. Well, this, muta. This, this is this is a guy who's like a few characters away from um the the take that we saw earlier where he's like this is this i can't believe you would post this this is actually making women top themselves this is dangerous well it's like stellar blade right yes. because they were attacking the game making saying that you putting this out or making women feel bad about themselves and that's dangerous for them so well, maybe they should grow up maybe they should no, grow seriously. up i know it's like, maybe, maybe it's time they learn that their feelings hot. are irrelevant if you well, make a woman then, hot then the chunky dumpy women aren't gonna buy the game oh no my thought i don't are, think it's for them i think it's the developers like, all this game yeah. when men when men were the main developers for everything you had attractive characters but the more women came in and they're like they put their self in and they were like, no, well, I'd prefer to have someone like me. And, you know, I don't look like that. So I'll, I'll, I'll put my influence in to make the character look like me. It's like, yeah, but nobody wants you in a video game. But then yeah. we put double standards on people like the, that have OF, that have like banging bods, no offense to them, but like, you know, we say like, let them do their thing. So as long as it comes from a man, it's toxic. But if it comes from a woman to have these unrealistic beauty standards, it's fine. Well, it yeah. tends to also go down to uh, like who's getting the advantage out of it and who's being manipulated. So, like Instagram is fine True. because they're they're monetizing it and doing it that way. You've got the only stuff that's because they're getting money from it and they're getting money from the guys, so it's benefiting them. So it's good. This this is what men like. It's benefiting the men. The men are changing it and not accepting what the like low quality stuff they're being given, and that means it's bad. So we've got to shame it and get rid of it. Yeah.
Yeah, that's true. And not all men like that. He just was like, you know what? I it's just an AI thing. It's just kind of funny that this guy got so bent out of shape about it. Like, oh, you're addicted to corn. Yeah, but you know what's Gross. next, right? Um, what? if there was a Fallout game that did the same thing, they would just uh create a mod. Nexus mods would go, This is discriminatory and misogynistic, <laughs> we're gonna ban it. Because they've done yeah. that multiple times. And yeah. I'm sorry, in a Fallout game, in a world that is like this, if you're not fit. How do you survive? Yes. I, I've always wondered if that's like, because um, Eastern Europe, go to Eastern Europe, everyone's gorgeous. And it's like, it, you do wonder, like, under the harsh conditions there, was it simply because those were the people that survived because they were the people that were protected? That's do, true. The, the, the more apocalyptic the environment, it would the, be the more attractive people that got given stuff. Uh, yeah. Like, look at Zombie Land, right? You know, uh, what were the rules? One of them was cardio. like, the cardio. <laughs> if you're not doing cardio, you're going to die. <laughs> That's true. And, and even despite that, it's like people just want to look at attractive things because looking at mm -hmm. beauty makes you feel better than looking at looking at the less attractive. Yeah, remember thing. when Hollywood thought that way? And like they yes. would do like biopics, right? On like a not so attractive musician, but there'd be just this like drop dead gorgeous model playing the musician, yes. stuff like that. Like they don't do, I mean, they still do it sometimes, but it's just, it doesn't. Well, I, I nothing did wrong with it. It's Hollywood. It's a movie. Like you're supposed to glamorize it. A movie should be more glamorized, not you know. I guess it depends on the movie, but you guys get what I'm saying. Like it's well, just I, it's like they try to dump it down, like Sydney Sweeney and Madame Web. Like <laughs> okay, I, you, I had, did you had all those assets and you didn't use them. <laughs> uh, well, yeah, actually, I was I couldn't recognize her <laughs> when I was doing the things. I saw her on the red carpet and had to Google who she was because I didn't know yeah, she was in the movie. Oh. No, because they, they like if you look at her on the red carpet and in the movie, she looks like an entirely different. Person. Oh my god, because they hit her boobs. I didn't well, they hit oh, yeah. everything about her. Like they put her behind glasses, they've changed her hair. Um, they made her look as unglamorous as possible. Yeah. Dumpy. Uh, but the thing is, I did like a Star Trek video or something, and I just put Sydney Sweeney on the thumbnail for literally no reason whatsoever. Uh -huh. And it got all the clicks. Like, because that's what works. Sad with like wait. Oh. It, yeah. It's the one rule of marketing everybody knows. It's universal across the entire world, and it you have to deliberately <laughs> ruin all of uh, yes, always. <laughs> it's very important. By the way, uh, Dispru's research he rivals Ryan Kinnell with his tabs. Well, really, that, you've seen it. Oh, you've seen it in person now. Is, is it like really, it's like right here? <laughs> and I, like one <laughs> show open, I swear I didn't count actually, but. It, I think it's 30 to 40 tabs. Jeez. Well, that's just on one window. <laughs> There's normally... <laughs> it's I have got windows multiple windows. Video. Yeah, and I don't close them because, like... If yeah, I'm me neither. An, if I'm doing an Acolyte video, then a week later I might do another Acolyte video and those same topics will come up back again. So I leave mm -hmm. everything open until my computer dies and then I'm like, okay, now we'll reset. I was just looking... Exactly, at Adam. An uh, uncool version of... Quarter Black Garrett from like the tiny. Well, there's a second. I'm cool. Like he wishes he could be on Quarter Black's level. Yeah. He's trying to. He's trying to get the the uh, interaction. Like, do you have the second comment, <laughs> Wicked, or should I repost it? Oh, uh, uh, about uh, which part? Uh, Mutaha responded to. Uh, oh, uh, I put it in the chat that, yeah, about Mutaha's response. Hold on, hold on. Let me pull you it just up. Check first. the chat. I've okay. reposted it at the bottom. Thank you. Yeah, because it's this is the reply to V's tweet that we've just seen. Oh, so I didn't like, read it yet. Yeah, he retweeted your retweet. Okay, it says, yeah, your argument starts to fail on its ass when AI is used to modify a real human to fit the standard. I love how this okay, is why? also... <laughs> no, but why? Know, it oh, just, like, just says it without explaining DMs. it. Yes. DMs. Oh, whoops. That's oh, okay, nothing bad on there. <laughs> it, it's you. literally... Because V's <laughs> argument was, was straight men liking women's asses is addiction. Uh, it must be one of the biggest, the biggest brain takes of our generation. And he goes, "Well, if you use AI, then your entire argument is destroyed." No, why? What is yeah, wrong? Why? With it? I I want you to just I want you to tell me why the natural behavior of men in the world and what they were literally put on this planet to do is wrong. Well, and then on top of that, the whole idea of having equality, women today today are so disgusting with the standards that they have nice. and then we're <laughs> hurting men and saying oh my god you having a preference of having a booty is disgusting like the main benefit of it is that 
they like naturally filter themselves out. Like they are showcasing them. The, like, like these are the people that you want nothing to do with. It's just weird when the guys come along and say, don't worry, darlings, chivalry's still alive. I will defend you with my shield and my little hat. That now do to... me, please, because yes, I protect you. Yes, lady. <laughs> it's like so bizarre. It's like, this is what he thinks is, and I guarantee if you went back and started looking at this guy, I don't, I like, this guy apparently is some, I'm assuming he's a YouTuber or something. I, and uh, I've seen him enough times to know he must be pretty big. But I guarantee if you went back in time, you'd very quickly find contradictory opinions and where he's also liked, this character's hot. I'm just curious it, to look. This is what men do. Like every, well, no, this is what everybody does. When you meet anybody, you will rate them if they're like what you're attracted it's, it's to. It's instantaneous within like, yes. five, like under 10 seconds. Well, I would say that was not, I would say like everybody has seen, and women even do it to each, each other. They're like, just go, and in that one glance, they have judged everything from like their shoes to all of their clothes to their hair to how they're presenting themselves. Um, it, it's in, like o almost instantaneous. It's like you just look. Yes. Yes. Yeah, I have no idea who this guy is, but yeah, I guess he's a YouTuber. Uh, yeah, I've, heard him him. I've heard of him. I, I think I looked him up before. He was pretty I'm good. a terrible yeah. YouTuber. I mean, There's like people that I should followers. have heard of so. that I never heard of. So. I'm like, uh, who's Mr. Beast? Okay. I've I, yeah, I, I, never I, heard of him. The that? thing is, he regularly does takes like these, which is just insane. Like, it's not unusual for him. And that's why I don't like those types of, uh, well, anyone, realistically, that tries to white knight for certain groups. I would rather just be who I am, say the things I, I believe in. I can change my beliefs, I'm sure, but, like, not to the point of trying to impress someone specifically or a group of someone's because that's just that feels dirty well have you heard of the 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 animal kingdom kind of terminology for it no because it's a mating strategy right and it's i i didn't make up this term it's just what they're called uh but the mating strategy is essentially where the guy rather than what you'd normally expect is like the big alpha guy that just walks around he's like i'm i'm kind of the best thing here and then he gets the women there's also what they call the, the sneaky fuckers um that's what they call them. I didn't make it up. It's what they call them. Sorry, the what? I'm not going to repeat it. F word. Ours. It, no, it's actually, I think it's like F O. The sneaky buggers. Uh, the well, sneaky that, buggers. That'd be even worse. That, like, no. But it's like, those are the guys <laughs> where they kind of go in and they're like very sort of uh, effeminate. They're, they're, they're very not aggressive. Like, oh, and no, then the no. moment the main guy leaves, that's when they go with all the women. And that's that's kind of the, what the, it's like. Oh, don't worry, I will protect you against the evil misogyny, man, madam. It's fine. So, oh, I don't think you gain anything as a bloke pretending that you're not attracted to attractive things. It just seems bizarre. It it just it feels like they just want to be the next best option compared to the toxic traded people they're fighting against, and it just. That, for me, that's sad. Toxic being normal people. You know, yeah. The, the, the people that were literally evolved over millennia to s carry on the continuation of the, the entire human species. And he's like, no, I'm fine if we just end here. Thank you. It's like, <laughs> maybe you are. Maybe you are. Mm -hmm. um, well, the other thing, because there was a, I love how this is also part of the massive Fallout law you want oh, to specifically would... preserve. So bad for some reason. It's like, yes, uh, we want to preserve attractive things why do you want to destroy everything that's beautiful and attractive and replace it with something that's just like eh or ugly and the funny why do you part, adore like ugliness the, fu the funny part is in, in the animal kingdom if we look at like you know I, I think about the birds for example there's the bright shiny feathers and the mating displays and whatnot are we saying those are misogynistic birds I don't know. Yes. Those birds are bigots yes. and uh, sexist and all the and they need to be canceled. Cancel yes, birds. Fire them. <laughs> fire. Realistically, like that, there's a reason why those certain genes get pushed to the next generation because you choose the flashiest and you hope they'll go to the children. So we're going well, against biology. Well, yes. Yeah, I mean, attractiveness is a sign of good genes, which all is also a sign of health. So you, you you want healthy babies so that Absolutely. they will survive. Uh, um, yeah, the peacocks need to chill out because they make the pigeons feel bad. Yes. The, the oh my they're god, shorts. they're the worst. They just walk along and like, 
Look at all, all those tails. <laughs> I love it when they walk up to like a human holding a camera and do it. It's like, can you not tell the difference between a six foot human holding a camera and another peacock? Like seriously, they're you, blind. Maybe you they, like, they have to how you doing, girl? It? <laughs> Imagine if that's the thing. Like they weren't actually doing like big fancy tails because they wanted to be attractive. They're just like, no, we are blind as a bat. We can't see it. This is the only way we can tell another peacock exists <laughs> if they also. Do like a six foot wide feather tail is the only time we should go. Shake tail feather. Do, do, do. Anyways. Um, <laughs> hi, Camelot, by the way. What's up? Sad you didn't make it to Vegas. Yes. Yes. I Because yeah. I thought you would be here. But, oh, know. no. You're uh, no, the racing stuff, isn't it? Someone told oh. me at the meeting. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry I didn't make it either. Maybe next year. You guys do it every year. So Yeah, because I, I was speaking to a guy at the meetup about Camelot. He's like, no, he's racing. He's like, oh, okay. That makes a lot of sense. Like, being a professional racer is far more important than just going to a bar. <laughs> it's like, <laughs> I can understand Camelot, that. you're a bigot. You didn't come meet us instead. Of How dare you pick NASCAR? <laughs> What's wrong with you? How dare you pick your dream over us? <laughs> yeah, I hope they at least make you turn right in a while. You know, just <laughs> <laughs> that, no, seriously, because I didn't know what NASCAR was, um, and then I was like, so is, that, "Is that the one where you just turn left all the time?" He's like, "Well, most of the time, yeah. <laughs> like so, occasionally, I've maybe <laughs> go the other way." Camel, it was like twice, and I'll forever cherish the time I put you to bed because you were drunk. <laughs> I, I imagine that happens a lot for him. <laughs> <laughs> got someone that helps, yeah. <laughs> um it's just got like a living maid it just like falls against the door and she's like oh that's back you want to try to do this one to sprue uh try my surname ray glendening or glendening Glendon glendening is that right thank you yeah i'd either say glendening or glendening i would go for glendening same and Dave Chandler with another five. Thank you. For some reason, people get my last name wrong all the time. I've been called Chambers, Chandless, Chandler. Ch Chandelier, Chancellor, Chancy, Candlemaker. Really? No, that's candle the easy maker? one, though. It's from Friends. Like, yeah. Chandler. People... Yeah. Um, let me, before we move on from this uh, topic, I want to catch some of the super chats. Sorry when we missed those guys. Um, here we go. Dave Chandler. For another 10. Thank you. All the booty controversy boils down to is the woke hate classic Western beauty standards. The civilized world has idealized the human body, male and female, since the Greeks look at statues. Well, the, the weird thing is as well, when they're like, oh, you've over-sexualized this person. These people, it, these are unrealistic body stats. No, these aren't unrealistic body stats. This is what a normal human being looks like. It's, this is what happens if you don't shove yourself full of burgers and fries on a daily basis. You just have a normal human body shape. It's amazing how that happens. Uh, and yet they're like, no, I, but I want to do that. And why can't you just like me how I am? It's like, maybe, I think the one of the main problems at the moment is maybe people shouldn't. Maybe people shouldn't accept maybe it how you are. Maybe people shouldn't. <laughs> yeah, no, maybe people should actually improve for a living. Uh, maybe people should tell you that there might be something wrong with you that you need to be better on. I mean, I got enough comments about my hair. It was just, I didn't care enough to change. But I wasn't going to go, you have to like my hair how it is. Like, oh, you should just, I know I don't care about it, but you should accept it and not say it. It's like, no. no. This is this Bruce's reaction to everyone that wants to hate on his please, hair. Please. Oh, oh, yes. oh. oh. I, I want Because to I'm worth it. Yeah. Well, that, yeah. Hey, the, the thing with that, that was like when we first started. So my hair was way shorter than it was by the time he got cut. My hair was probably yeah. about this length at the time. Yeah. He got a haircut from Gary's wife. Well, yeah, and she described it as, um, she rephrased it afterwards, but the first description was, you look a little less homeless now. You just look a little bit homeless rather than actually homeless. You just and, have and, a smidge of homelessness. And, 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 and then she changed it to something like lazy chic. <laughs> I was like, You're lazy like, chic? <laughs> like, how can we go with a, a slightly less insulting phrase? What, is, <laughs> what are the, oh, hipster. You look hipster now. Oh, God. Yeah. No, that's even where he'd rather look. He would no, rather look that, homeless. I, 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 I liked the homeless comments. So I don't like the hipster. That comments. one's but he, he'd rather the happy. lesbian and homeless comment. I'm far more happy to be homeless than it. no, because hipsters are like um, they're the they ones did that, it first. Well, they before live in it was cool. Of, well, what would the American version? Because I immediately went to London, so it'd be New York. You'd be like the New York guys that pay like five thousand dollars a month 
for like um, a 20 foot apartment that can just fit a bed and a cup. Oh, the personality of hipster. No, I'm not a fan of that. I'm just saying the, the, the look. No, uh, I, who, no, because I'd, I'd have to have like a mustache and then only drink like whiskey that was manufactured love, on a baboon's arse or something. They, they like I would really, love to see they like really with weird the niche shoes. They're like, I have, I have avocado, but everyone else likes avocado on oh toast. Oh my God, so, so now, I don't like it anymore. So now I don't like that. Now I have avocado on cardboard and it's served to me on a shovel and I put ice cream on the top and this is... This is culture. It's amazing. I'm cultured. <laughs> <laughs> I need to see Disperu with a monocle and a, one of those like Ooh. mustaches. Like Marcel that. once asked me if I had a monocle. I was like, no, but no, no, I don't think those actually exist. <laughs> they do. It's a really weird invention, though, isn't it? It's like I only want to see out of one eye. <laughs> it's like why? <laughs> only well, want to be able to see. We could just have two pieces of glasses and then hang them over some kind of. You know, not normal place that would be really well, like we could put over your nose and maybe your ears. I every time to hold that eyeglass in place. Yeah, because I have like, to squint. I, now, they always I like this like too. The they always go ones with the they, mouth they, open. They, they're like the magnifying thing. Oh yeah, yeah. <laughs> to look at it. This diamond. one. This one's for you, X-ray. Ooh, uh, Megan Morse for ten dollars. Thank you so much, Magnum. Says X-ray girl is a bigot because she likes metal appendages. Um, I just. No mechanical feet or foot, <laughs> not feet, foot. She saw that and said, Ooh, me so funny. <laughs> me right, you wrong time. What do you want? Uh, doesn't say funny. <laughs> I'm just <laughs> me so honey. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Can I just say, I love making just for giggles like a goal of mine. <laughs> Sorry, you, you broke him. Hold on, give him a second to compose yeah. himself. <laughs> it didn't until you were oh. me so honey. You <laughs> know, like you made me so honey. <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> well, that, that, I was thinking, it's like, yeah. That's once you get down to if X Ray only likes like cyborgs and she will only date people with metallic limbs, then then you have to ask, is that why Mark only has one leg in the first place? Cut it right off. It yeah. Do it it's like look. Shut you, Mark. It was like on the Shut first you. date. <laughs> on, on the first date, it was like, look, I like you, but you do have too many legs. I'm gonna one need one to go. go. One's that, gotta go. Uh, what's that movie called? The one with the string. The, the musician. <laughs> The stream that the, the, that this this is actually that is actually a coupling what is episode. That? What is that? Um, the, the woman, the man with too many show. legs. What was audition? Yeah. Uh, oh, I didn't watch that. Coupling I heard of it though. Coupling has an episode where and. For, but, <laughs> coupling has an episode where uh, he re really likes the 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 girl, but for some reason he tells her that he's he's only got like one leg. Um, and so when he goes to meet her, he's like, I've got too many legs. And there's like a surgeon there. It's like, how much for just the left one? <laughs> he's like willing to have his leg amputated just to go to on a date with her. Oh my God. I got to watch that. I have oh, it finally. Like so honey. Coupling is amazing. It, like, it's my favorite comedy of all time. And and the thing is with things like, uh, well, all the, uh, the British comedies that I put in that tweet, but especially Coupling, I reference all the time and no one knows because nobody's seen them. <laughs> and so, like half my comments are just like references to things like coupling. Um, like, Justin Martin's, <laughs> thank you for the. <laughs> so he, I love how this brew cracks himself up. He doesn't even need us. He just says some cracks himself Hi, up. Hi, Jay. Thanks for that. Hey, someone's gonna laugh at my jokes. It might as thank well be you, me. Thank you, Jay. Oh, Justin Martin, thank you for the ten. For men who watch no corn, seeing an attractive woman in a video game is just a welcome sight. Better than just girls who have the booty of a little boy. Not everything is such an extreme. Yeah. Well, yeah, we've had statues all the time of just the human body. Like, it is oh. just beautiful. It is just so attractive. So, we went to Caesar's Palace. Well, not we, but, like, uh, Mark and I went to Caesar's Palace. No, actually, Mark wasn't there. Uh, so, I you went, went to Caesar's Palace. I went to Caesar's Palace. Yeah. <laughs> Long story short, the, there was a fountain of all the gods. And, obviously, the gods? absolutely gorgeous. So, are we going to make them ugly? Actually, now? no, that happened in history. 
um the greeks came i think it was the greeks went on made all the statues and then someone i can't remember who it was but went around and they literally because they were showing oh, all their genitals the yeah they broke them all off with Hi, hands Jay. and just snapped thank them, you like, destroyed the art uh, I guess those were the SJWs of the Roman times. Well, it's, yeah, essentially, this kind of thing comes around. It just comes around in different forms. Um, but it's not an unusual attitude. There's always been... Haters. Yeah, well, it was like the prudes. It was the, uh, what were they called? The, the really religious people that... The cultists. Like the, the Puritans. The Puritans. Yeah, that's something oh. Blackadder always takes the piss out of. It's like the, the people that doesn't even want flavor in their food because it, it may tempt them to that the dark like side. British people with their food. Well, I mean, most things they, eventually they use... would have been British. We've been yeah, around for a long time, unlike you guys. <laughs> and no, I don't mean the Italians, wicked. You know what? <laughs> Stop trying to say SB. <laughs> hey, the That's more half whiskey... the fun of the stream. <laughs> the more whiskey I know. he has, the more he has the, the He has the crippled man bringing him cups of whiskey. Anything. He's just like, Mark, more whiskey. Barely drank anything. That cup was full. Well, so, it was, yeah, yeah. It wasn't the. It wasn't the. It was. It was full. Like, I barely had whiskey, one though. big cup. That's well. That would be enough for me. You should see what I drink on a normal one of these streams. <laughs> you can't tell because it's a solid bottle. Now we know. Yes. He drinks Especially progressive that whiskey thing. at home. Jesus, that progressive. That that got brought up at the events. That whole. Did it? Did it? it? Yeah, because I, was, I think I was talking to Alan as well. I had to. I apologize to him. Because I was like, like the only time I've seen you is that stream. I don't think I made a very good impression. <laughs> and then I said, then I blamed you and said, look, I did. Oh, what your your celebration one? Did you yeah. spill? That's the twenty k one. No, I. Oh, I, 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 just, spill. I said, look, I told X Ray that I shouldn't appear on that stream. He did, I had been drinking. but I said I wanted him. Yeah, to spill. and then I met all these new people that I kind of knew who they were, but I'd never met them before. <laughs> and just made... oh, but I think that's part of the charm, you know? Well, like, uh, well that happens, because some people don't even have, like, their pictures on their sh uh, profiles, you know, so they come to you and you're like, oh, hi. I mean, X-Ray Girl didn't, I the first time you. I met her, she didn't know it was me, because I didn't have my glasses on. She was like, hi, and she was kind of staring at me, and I was like, it's wicked. She's like, ah! Oh. Well, yeah, and, and, she, and she just said hi, and she was like, who, who said that? But, okay, oh, you don't sorry, even know how to look down. Sorry, <laughs> sorry, I'm sorry. sorry. <laughs> Hold on, it's like, yeah. It's like, no, I'm down here. You should have got Jay to put you on his shoulders. <laughs> and I would have been 20 feet tall. Well, like 15 Steph, feet. No one can style. Oh, my God. My favorite picture of Steph was Craig was sitting literally on a chair like this, and Steph and him were the same height. <laughs> <laughs> Aw. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> uh, what did I? Oh, Abe! Thank you for the member message. I'm a retired man of 38 years, up to 12:40 at up at 12:40 at night watching YouTube, eating a pot noodle because I love the taste of them. Ladies, sign up. Thank you for yeah. being a member. Yes! For, this room is like my kind of man. Yeah, Thank you for being I, a I, member. I, for six I ate many a pot noodle in my student Wait, days. What's a pot noodle, by the way? It, is it like, like ramen? It's like, uh, uh, well, it's noodles, but it's <laughs> it's not it's not like ramen. It, it's like a, a plastic tub with sort of instant noodles Mr. and flavor. Mr. Noodles! And you pour boiling water on them and then leave it for a couple of minutes. Mr. Noodles, then. Yes, yeah. I've had them. Yeah, yeah. Uh, bye. Hi, George! George! George it's the like Giant Slayer just gifted five memberships. Thank you so much. Here, we'll do this. Damn. Damn! You uh, we were time. actually new reminiscing one. about uh, the time we were in Vegas uh, with you, and I, I'm I'm just so impressed by the bathtubs because Jay fit in the bathtub at the hotel room. We were we were venturing around in the room. Well, I like the chairs in Vegas because they're made for Americans, so I like there's plenty of room on either side. It's great for my arms, you know. I, I call my arms like pinned to me. <laughs> so, no, like, the American chairs are amazing for they're, this. They're wider set than yes. uh, UK. Thank you, psychotic monster. <laughs> sorry, what did you say? I was zoned out. What did you just say? I'm so sorry. <laughs> Don't worry about no, it. It's all fine. good. It's, it's all fine. Good. I definitely fine. just zoned out. I wasn't you insulting your entire nation, which involves most of your chat. It's fine. <laughs> Don't just worry. Wicked. What did he say, Chad? No, we're, we're just, we were just marveling ab well, about his fascination on wider chairs in America. Yeah. Oh, like, are you calling us all fat? So am I fat because I'm American? Yes. Not you. Wow. <laughs> I was willing to go with it. Like, wicked, you are not fat. Shut up. <laughs> this brew called me fat. 
<laughs> yeah, you were the one that said it. And you gave me the ultimatum. I just went, yes. Uh, Jay is sad that you didn't say hi to him. Can you say to hi fair. to Jay right now, Disbrew? What the heck? Hello, Jay. <laughs> it's like, I don't, I don't, like... Hello. Hello. No, Jay. the thing was, I like this is the first time in the States. I rarely flew. So the most I've flown before was like around Europe. And that's like a 90 minute trip or something. It, it's more like catching a bus than anything else. So it was a massive long flight, multiple time zones. The wrong flight, missed the flight. I have to grab like a hotel that you don't know where it is and you didn't book five seconds ago. The last thing on my mind was, uh, who's in Orlando so I can waste a few hours? And like the worst part is, I feel like when you got here, I think that would have killed me. So he it was, was a, yeah, a day. It was a nine hour flight. I just wanted to sleep and then get on the next plane. And then, been, and then my hotel got cancelled when I got here as well. So it was an absolute disaster. In Vegas, your hotel got cancelled? Yeah, Why? because I was, 20, I was 24 hours late, so they just yeah. cancelled it. Yeah. Uh, that's you gotta call ahead. Didn't know. You gotta no call idea ahead. that was a thing. I didn't even know that, though, because I didn't travel. They gave it away to someone else, and then you couldn't be at the same uh, hotel we mm -hmm. were. Yeah, I had to do that once, but I called ahead and they saved it for me. I called like 1 a.m. <laughs> Save it, please. Learning lesson. That sucks, yeah. Yeah, it's it's more for me like that next time I can be more prepared. Mm -hmm. Like this this was very much just how I do anything. It was very last minute. Look what Jay started. And then I just solve problems. Thank you, SoFi, for what is the, what do that, what a currency is that? Pens. Yes. He's got, Thank he's you for the two pens. pens. Thank you for the two pens. In... I, can, I always, you can always use some more pens. <laughs> yeah, what is it though? <laughs> it, it comes in really What currency useful. is that? It comes in really useful at the Pennsylvanian, I don't know. That's in America. <laughs> it's, so a, <laughs> it's a soul. Yeah, I typed in pen currency and it came back as a soul. Well, wouldn't that be soul currency? What? I don't know. Pens? Peruvian. Hi, hi, oh, Peruvian. It's the Peruvian, that Peruvian makes soul. Sense. That makes sense. Okay. Hi, everyone. Do you have a butter dish? Can you show one? Look what Jay started. Everyone's butter dishes. <laughs> Yeah, I Somebody have no fall? idea. I heard that. You guys no, like Mark. Um... <laughs> I, I didn't know you heard that. That <laughs> heard is that. sensitive. Well, no, because I, I put the the noise gate down. Uh, Mark is sitting here, uh, leaning on a pillow on a couch with one leg, his one leg off. I, he grabbed the pillow and yeeted it behind himself and just hit a light. Yeah, and then Aiden's there. Wrapped in a cute little blanket, drinking her little margarita. Little <laughs> like, like, mm, margarita. Mm. <laughs> Wrapped in a beer moth. <laughs> 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 I just love how many Aiden giggles. It's so cute. <laughs> you want to read this one, Disbrew? I feel like you're going to say this one. Uh, Nightmare for five dollars says, "Thank v you." Is a a paste kuma. And worth talking to. <laughs> also, Muta showed his favorite hentai once. Yeah, yeah, well, there you go then. This is the entire thing. I don't know why people are that attractive. Hey, he watches hentai. That's disgusting. Well, exactly. Look, he's a bloke. The, any time this sorry. is you can tell they're lying because they have all of the hormones going through them that every single other person does. You're not special. You're not unique. You're not some special flower of a human that no one's ever seen before. You're just like everybody else and everybody knows it. Which is why when you say this stuff, everybody knows you're lying. Uh, but for um, V, yeah, I know what V is. Uh, she's signaling. Don't. Just signaling. Like, when, when things... Okay, so I watched one once, uh, the hentai. Uh, and it was so weird. It like, the, the tentacle... Went through from the bottom up to the mouth, and I was like, "You'll die! You'll die!" Not necessarily. <laughs> Only if it tears what? something. Where did this? And the the tentacle, because tentacles work with like water, so they're infinitely flexible. So they could. It'd be very difficult, but the, it'd be it'd be strange that they were long <laughs> enough. But they could follow like your intestines mm, all the way through. This, once it on. hits your stomach, it's easy. Apart from this, the acid. this conversation just went like. It's science, so, folks. We we need the we need to get yelled at by uh, X Ray Girl. Nine 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 nine. This is science. <laughs> this is science. That's beautiful. I've also got a clip of X Ray opening a wine bottle. Oh, yeah, that one's disgusting. Really? Yeah. <laughs> How's it disgusting? That's the air um air pump one. Yeah. You like poke the needle through the cork yeah. and the you pump air into the bottle and yep. supposed to push it out. Yeah. If you can imagine what that looks like. Yeah, so you've got a... Well, he's got the clip, so I'm sure we'll see it at some point. Mm -hmm. 
I found like the, the mother load of clips that apparently I'd saved at some point. Of he's just, got like, a he's got people. he's got a clip of everybody. I'm sure he's got a, he's probably got more well, clips of I'm, like Jay than anybody because he's always. I, I, I actually <laughs> did. I found a load of Jay clips of him when he. You know when Ooh. he was doing Lawnmower Simulator. I've got all of those. That one is that. I love there's, all like, of there's them. a great one where he's like, oh, oh, I'm so great at lawn mowing. This is how I live my life. Immediately crashes into a tree. <laughs> it's like, okay. it's amazing. You drive like I do. It's like everybody could have me in their life. You, you can learn how to do it from me. It crashes into another thing. I think I've just got the hang of this. Drives into a wall. Like so many. They were the best dreams I've ever seen. Hashtag winning. <laughs> we both can't drive. Yes. <laughs> um, Foo Foo Man Blue for five. Thank you. When survival of the fittest no longer describes your society, this is what you get. It's pretty straightforward. Oh, that's when we were talking about, um, like the apocalypse stuff. I think so. I try to get these like while we're talking about them, but then we always digress, and I'm I'm just sorry. Well, it, it's, sorry it's interesting us. because um, up until thank you, relatively like throughout history, relatively recently, like a hundred years or something, everyone was improving because all the uh, the other people essentially didn't breed for some reason or another. So you, you were constantly going up as a people. And then the Industrial Revolution happened, and then we had modern medicine, and now everybody is surviving. And then it just turns out, actually, it might go the other way, and we're just going downhill from here. And it, we could genuinely end up in idiocracy. We, we, yeah. we are already there. Uh, no, we, we, we're, we're thicker <laughs> than we used to be, but we could genuinely end up in, like, everybody's the same. Look at, like, uh, entertainment right now. Mediocrity is the new great. I think it's worse than that, right? Because the the peak people still exist, but yes. it's the weakest and the lowest people, which they think need to be uplifted because they think everybody's equal, which they're not. But to make everyone equal, you actually have to treat them differently. So they are literally giving people that shouldn't have that opportunity the opportunity. And they're just mm -hmm. showing you why they should never have had the opportunity mm -hmm. in the first place. Some people uh, say like you should bring bullying back because some people have become too soft because they there's, aren't. There's a called, lot of like, lessons to learn in that. Yeah. There is, yeah. Like I mean, obviously, sometimes like when you're like getting physically bullied horribly, that's not okay. But like to toughen up a little bit, some words, you know what I mean? And like well, with people, Google and everything now, all these young kids, they're not going to know how to do stuff because they're just going to Google it. Like the, I was watching a show earlier where she's like, "Oh, get an encyclopedia," and he's like, "What's an encyclopedia?" And she's like, "Oh my god, just Google it." Like it's supposed to be a funny scene, but I'm like, "That's really what we're at right now, where kids don't know like, things like that." Like it's it's nice that we can just look up something right and figure it out, but it, it also dumbs us down. Like even with like the spell check and stuff, it's uh, the, there like, is a benefit. Uh, assuming you have a good society, there is a benefit in having social reinforcement to make you go along with the good society. Uh, mm -hmm. This whole idea that fringe things are good is not true if you have a good society whereas if you have a terrible society which values the wrong things being on the fringe is actually a benefit because then you don't believe the horrible things guess, is, does that mean we're on the fringe i never thought it'd be well that. yes uh basically you but, like I, surround yourself with yes people right like you do something wrong yeah, and your friend doesn't doesn't want to offend you so they don't tell you what you did wrong so you keep doing it wrong rather than like you'll get or some people will get mad if they have that one friend that's really truthful and sometimes they might be over truthful but i would honestly rather That'd have a friend me. that yeah we need more disperus <laughs> like he will tell you like it is you need people like that in your life because if you only like i said if you only have yes people you're never gonna uh progress you're never gonna go up you're just gonna be stuck where you are what? absolutely and you want to progress yourself like if you think that you are the best why you need try? to recheck yourself exactly why try I think that you always should compare yourself with yourself and strive to be better in that way. Yes. But what people are doing is being like, okay, say this example, disparate. Oh my God, your channel's so good. You're racist. Give me all your subs. <laughs> That's what we're seeing these days. You're racist. Give me all your subs. She just held the no, gun. Like, yeah. <laughs> no. but my reaction to her saying it would be my reaction if someone else said it. I would just laugh in their face. But but that's the thing. Like we see people all the time that attack people because they're jealous of what they have. It's envy and spite. Yes. And yeah, that. that's true. It, that does. Like all this is envy and spite. It, it is literally. I can't get what you want, so you need to give it to me. You need to stand back so I can have it. Mm -hmm. Now, which works for the individual person but it's a selfish ideology because those people are not capable of doing it we've seen it in hollywood the writers that they've lifted up to these positions that have never read the source material are not capable of writing that material they aren't they do not know what they're doing and so they hire them because they'll listen 
<laughs> well, well, yes. Like lifting up to that position means like you get someone flexible, you get someone weak, but they're not capable of doing the work that you need them to do. They'll do what you say, they'll try, but if you tell them to write something good, they're in literally incapable of it. Everybody is not equipped to do everything. Like I've, I'm it's terrible okay. at lactating. It's okay. We've had this big conversation. Exactly. Exactly. <laughs> The, the very idea that we're all equal, it's like, no, no, we're not. We can't do different things. That we're was a moment that I don't know why I didn't clip. I got to go back and find that. Like when Disru was like, I wish I could lactate. And the whole chat was just like, wait, I didn't clip that. I got to find that again and get that. I mean, hey, so, hey, if we all could lactate and lose calories that easily, we all would. I'm just saying. Well, yes. <laughs> also, I wouldn't eat desk milk anymore. That. <laughs> He'd just be like, flip up. Yeah. He'd be like, be right back, guys. <laughs> it's, it's like, yeah, it's just, this is why it's amazing. It's like, I, I no. can just write my nice name in the snow, but I can't have a, a portable picnic with me. Portable picnic? <laughs> I'm fine. <laughs> my fault. He doesn't need dust milk anymore. Exactly. Okay. I don't have dust milk. I wonder how many times my mind. Him. I wonder how many different streams he's going to come back to the lactating things. This is the second Which, time he's brought only up. Periodic, only as often as it is funny. That's the uh, thing. Ratchel's you leave like, it for a while. You you're recycling. Up. Well, yes. No, this is the point. Comedy can be funny. Recycling comedy can be funny. But you have to leave mm -hmm. it like, long enough. People are like, this is a dead meme. It's like, it will be when I say it is. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, no. Are you... I will wait long enough. And oh. then I'll just go, Yogi. yeah. I used to be that until I took an arrow to the knee. It's like, hey, if you say it, if you wait long enough, it's funny again. <laughs> Not that we know of, Ray. Not that we know of. Thank you for the two pounds. <laughs> I mean, hopefully. That would be my dream. I just haven't One out day, how maybe. Yet. I mean, we're yeah. in 2024. Things are changing. So who knows? By like 2026, 20, you might I be mean, we, we, we found out on FNT, Mark has <laughs> absolutely gorgeous tits. <laughs> I hate you. You're the one that said it. No. You're the one that said it. I do understand that. I do understand. No. no. I brought up that Mark had a big dong. Yes, and then, a massive and then because it got awkward, and then I said, and boobs, because <laughs> and like, boobs too. Like yeah. I didn't mean it as Mark had boobs, but I was just saying it as like a okay, I'm gonna fill the dead silence. Boobs. <laughs> and so yeah, it ended up being a very unfortunate. That's why I fill silences too as well. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Taking a little bit of different perspective, that clip. <laughs> Yeah, so whoopsies. <laughs> I love you, Mark. He was watching at that time, by the way. I'm sure he wasn't upset with that. <laughs> saying. I'm sure he was totally fine with all those compliments. <laughs> I did say he had a big dong, so I mean, well, he should yeah. be happy. That I mean, first, I've so never heard Disfru say yeah, that a man. Say. <laughs> I've never, I mean, I've never, besides Sydney Sweeney, I've never heard Disfru talk about anyone's boobs. And he just said that Mark has great boobs. So yes. that might be there you go, Mark. Yeah. <laughs> That's why I came to Vegas. I met him in London. I was like, well, I've got to see those to beauties see Mark's again. <laughs> those beauties again. <laughs> <laughs> this is the thing. She's like, no, I, I like making it like, I do the same. It's like, can we break make it? Make girl? girl blush. <laughs> Mark's probably yeah, over there like, D &D I like this stream. <laughs> This doesn't happen often anymore, so she's a lightweight. <laughs> I can't wait to see her again over the summer. We're gonna drink wine. We're gonna be like, we're just gonna be giggling the whole time. We'll go live. Don't worry. <laughs> <It goes. laughs> we were so mad. Remember, we, we, like I was kind of tipsy, but you were sober. But when Disbrew didn't answer the message, we were like, he's not coming on the stream. He's sleeping. What stream? That's rude. <laughs> when we were oh, when we had our sleepover, we, we were stream. like, it wow. wasn't even saucy. No, it wasn't even saucy. I, I, I we couldn't even like, remember seeing that message. How dare not answer? You were asleep. It was like, I don't know, yeah, I, but you said you were asleep the next day. Like, like oh, You okay. probably would have hopped on if you weren't doing anything. our time. Oh. Uh, so that would be five hours later, like 2 a.m. Oh, yeah. Justin, oh. I'm not highlighting that. You can read it in the chat if you want. Disprove. <laughs> 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 what? <laughs> don't have to go through. Who? <laughs> Justin, Justin. Oh, just how far back? Just oh, can, um, can yeah, lactate. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I highlight it, but I think just should oh, see that. Well, yeah, it's uh, biscuits and gravy. Well, <laughs> yeah. It, oh, what? I, I literally drove her into a wall. <laughs> Heard that? <laughs> oh my god! Get away from it. <laughs> 
even it here. seems like the next logical conclusion. <laughs> I mean, it's not the worst thing I've heard this weekend. So. I, I, mean, I wasn't the one eating it, so. Hi. <laughs> Uh, let me put that out there. Neither was I. No. It was in the restaurant. Someone ordered biscuits and gravy. I was just making sure they knew it wasn't me. I had a crepe. <laughs> I had, I had a out of whiskey. I just saw that. It was that a he, burger I that just, was so big. They needed sad. a steak in the middle of the burger. And then halfway through, I bit into it. And, oh, no. And Melissa. <laughs> um... Don't eat that. <laughs> it's like, I, wa I wasn't sure. I wasn't sure that you were. Uh, you saw that there. Well, I think this is... Oh, crap. Hold on. So, uh -oh. Sorry. Uh, no, I accidentally hit, uh, like, back. I got it. This is probably the perfect time to start bringing up these popcorn buckets. Oh, my oh, God. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I, I, I was hoping you'd start with neons. I love this. Okay, so this... Um, there was a tweet from Ryan Reynolds saying that uh, what what was the quote? It was, uh, wait until you see the Deadpool buckets. Yes. Alluding to the Dune 2 buckets, of course, we know, with the... Uh, little, I'll get a Deadpool bucket. I hope know. it doesn't look like the Dune one, though. I mean... Yeah, the, I'm, looks I'm like a butthole. Butthole. I'm going to prefer the um, the Ghostbusters bucket over this, but hey, who knows? I love the Ghostbusters. Did you... Wait, do you need one? Because I have an extra one. If, if you do, we'll see. We'll see. Well, I mean, it'd be good for June? a meme. <laughs> yeah, June. I'll bring it because it takes. A, it'll send. It costs a hundred bucks to send it to you in Canada. So yeah, just, don't send it, it to with me, me, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> but it'd probably get um, stopped by customs. So, so like, we're not letting this degeneracy <laughs> enter our honestly, country. So no, this is not real. Okay, so this is actually genius, right? Ryan Reynolds tweets that, and they probably know like people are going to AI popcorn buckets. Like, what if they I actually love AI. make? I know. Oh, what if they amazing. make they make a popcorn bucket that they actually end up using? Like, okay, look at this design that this person made. There you go. There's our bucket. It's better than the idea we had. I mean, I don't know. When does Deadpool? It's not till next year, right? Because it got delayed. No, it's this year. Yeah. It is this I year. I don't even know what year. year. I'm still I'm still stuck in 2020. It, it, it's 2019. This bro. She said she didn't know what year it was. So oh, like, yeah. What? That's what you've got to do. She was like, oh, them. it's 2019 now. <laughs> yeah, gaslight them. <laughs> I don't know what year it is. I'll tell you. Don't worry. Disfru, we need another whiskey, Mark. Love ding, you, ding, ding. Oh, here. Hold on. I got you. Nine, 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 nine. Nine? I wish I had my gun. <laughs> I got you, you. You come all the way here and you bring the gun. <laughs> Same. What? It's not the same. It's better. <laughs> it's so much better. So okay, so they probably already had the popcorn bucket done then, anyways. I was saying that that would have been smart to do like earlier, you know, because the people they would probably know people are gonna do a bunch of, like this, the AI stuff. But I wonder. It's no, probably I just think that's be... just good marketing. You get people involved. It's still in good the marketing, meme. yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. But there were so many different versions. Like, I love the fact that people started doing different memes of it. And you even now, even now you see people go, there's no way this is real. But the fact that they had to ask means they're not sure. And I would love these as popcorn buckets. Uh, these ones are kind of really cool. Cute. Like, I would totally yeah. do, like, a, a combo I'm, pack. <laughs> that, one, that might not be as uh, easy to no, eat popcorn out of. It's <laughs> a great meme. Well, it's the Dune one. Dune makes a Deadpool. Yeah. Which... <laughs> it's a great idea for one. I would get these ones. I'm going to be honest. I know it's supposed to be like, but out of all of them, <laughs> I think they should do all of them. They probably. Like, I wonder if they're. They should. I don't. They probably can. I mean, come on. They got the money. They could probably mass produce something oh, fast. How much do you think a twenty bucks cost? It'll be like a couple of dollars. They'll sell it for like twenty five. Oh the my god! Of them is insane. Yeah. I've only I don't get popcorn buckets a lot. I got the Pumbaa one because I love Lion yep, King. So I went to Animal Kingdom and got that one. And then I got end. the uh I got the um the Ecto one. I actually got two because someone sent me one. They sent me a better one. Regal had a different one <laughs> over AMC. Used. No, no, it was better. They it, it's a, it's a, it's the <laughs> not the Ecto one. I'm sorry. It's the ghost <laughs> trap. 
What are you? Ew. <laughs> you, like, you, you were talking. You went, ew. <laughs> and, just, and just carried on. Just you were trying to be the consummate natural, And I'm just like trying to put you on your game. And you, you just, ew. Ew. And just That's like, ass ass brew. Brew. Yeah, really. I love it. <laughs> Sass Brew is in the house tonight. You're well, welcome, Sass chat. Is in the house every night. I think we just get a really like nicer version on yes. the stream. Yeah. <laughs> Honestly. I, I'm like this even watching way. TV. It's just happens. All right. So, what is? Let me just do this. Well, there were other. Oh, was that all of them? Uh, no. Do you want to see? That was all the ones. That, was there more? I only had those three. Uh, I, this one. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. That'll do. That'll do. Because one okay, of them was just. On. I think it was just a meme of the guys. Well, I gotta find the other one. one. It's fine. Yeah. It, it was the worst one. You you chose the best. Uh, I mean, the one with the the towers at the side. Yeah, that was the. I'm glad you started with Neons. Neon definitely hit it out of the park with that one. That one was really good. It was funny. <laughs> okay. It was just the other article is like, um, I think it kind of just goes, a popcorn bucket exists. It's what do you guys think because, it's going to be? Obviously, it's not going to be anything too like overly sexual because, uh, you know, not necessarily. I think it like Dune 2 was an accident, you know, yeah. like yes. the worm. It, 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 was an it really did not think that people were going to be that excited. And th this is the thing about viral stuff. You can't go into it being Why like, they, we need ugh. this to be viral. Well, they need, what they, so they need to get 18-year-old male students to look at all of their things just to Make see it if it's accidentally. Well, mm -hmm. well, yeah, that would be a bonus. Their but reaction. If they, if, if they don't mm -hmm. want it to be dirty, th those are the people you need to employ. Like 18-year-old blokes will just immediately spot anything lewd. And, and all the memes. And I, if like the the female feminist or male feminist doesn't matter, uh, make them the, they would be blind to it in this if they were the one that made the dune uh, bucket. But I think this is marketing geniusness, whether it was on purpose or not. Um, I will say I do think it is on purpose because Ryan Reynolds does have a marketing company, so he knows how to work the system, and. He he has made, I think he's one of the billionaires probably at this point. Oh, for sure. Well, this like was the marketing. post. This was the post, by the way, that he made in case anyone was wondering. Even even with, um, I mean, that's just one of the things. Just that's wait until you see the Deadpool popcorn bucket. That's how he put. <laughs> yeah, but like that. This is such a teaser because at this point we want to be excited. We want something as exciting as that. So this is just building up to that moment. And if you can do that, you're creating a good product. Well, yeah. And, and YouTube people do it all the time. It's like a title will be something which is designed to make people think, what do they mean by that? So they click the video to watch it to find out the answer. Absolutely. So it lasts some kind of question or leaves some kind of mystery. And that's all this is. Like, he'll post something which, you know, it, it's kind of tame altogether. But then be like, yeah, wait till you see the next thing. And that that's what you should learn in marketing, honestly. But it's but... not basic. Like, a woman should have an ass. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why I'm laughing. <laughs> Damn. And there we've got go. <laughs> <laughs> That's the key to comedy. Always do a callback. Oh, yeah. What is it? Po 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 polka. What was it? I don't remember. I don't know. No, well, we learned a word from Dan. <laughs> I know a food word, but it's Spanish. That's close to what you said. Papusa. Papusa. Mm -hmm. I know pizza. I love pizza. That's a foreign Same. word. <laughs> it's Italian. <laughs> yeah, it's far away from Wicked's home, native <laughs> land. Yeah, okay, whatever. <laughs> He's Sasperu at this point. No? Oh, yeah, that's right. Sas Sasperu. <laughs> uh, but yeah, uh, either way, whatever the bucket is, I'm excited to see it. Uh, the way they've marketed it, I'm I'm okay with it. Uh, hopefully the movie's good. We'll see. I This was the only recent like movie coming out when they announced it that I was even a little excited about because I know that Ryan Reynolds cares about the character. So I don't think he's going to let it like let them sneak any like crap in there. That's going to annoy us like the woke stuff. I think he's just going to stick to the silly Deadpool formula that he's done 
since the first movie. I hope so. Um, and it is a little bit exciting to see like who's going to be in it because we don't really know, right? We had all those like, oh, this person was spotted on set. This person was spotted on set. We don't know, you know, what uh, cameos there are going to be. So mm-hmm. I don't know. I'll go see it in theater and I'll probably get a popcorn bucket if it's cool. I guess we'll see. <laughs> see who they come out with. buckets in the UK. Like we don't even Aww. have a chance to get them. Aww, do Aww. you want to do two popcorn buckets? <laughs> sounds like he wants one. Well, I mean, it would have been useful. Anybody have one to send a disparate? <laughs> <laughs> when the oh, desk melts no. not there. <laughs> no. <laughs> no. Nobody, Can he recycles? No, nobody says where the desk melts. <laughs> So that's why it's warm. All right. Anyway. Oh, no. <laughs> Speaking of woke, this brew is extremely excited for this. I, I, this David show is coming there, back. So that's it. Jesus. Yeah. Oh my god. It's not like it's She Hulk, but it's the next best thing. It's his yes. second favorite show. <laughs> hey, look, I got to see Valma getting run over by a car and then she just put up the face with like teeth crooked and everything. It's like I use that for thumbnail after thumbnail after thumbnail. And you know what the first thumbnail of this is gonna be? Same pissing thing. Um the only <laughs> downside of this is the don't dump it all on one day. And I actually can't remember if they did that with season one or not. Um uh, I, I don't remember. I remember having to rush through all the reviews, so they might have actually done it with season one as well. Um, Either way, I think, uh, regardless, I think you should do episodic reviews. Oh, 100%. And because yes. they're like 20 minutes long, they're actually quite easy to do. I can probably bang them out um, daily. That's also what she said. <laughs> <laughs> Like I said, not Valma though. Like the not, enti- not Valma. The entire plot. Well, season, of season one was weekly. Was oh, it? Oh, okay. Uh, yeah, that's actually so... better for you though. You don't have to like. It gives you time to make the video. Weekly's to be way honest, better. yeah, uh, weekly is way better it, for it's you. It's very hard to cover binge stuff, and the issue with this is because it's so rapid fire with the comments. Um, even though it's twenty minutes long, it's the same with She Hulk. That was rapid fire. You have to kind of stop after every sentence. Because they're always saying something every single time. So you end up with like a 40 minute video yeah. for a 20 minute episode. Now, I, I really do think that they're catching on at this point um, where shows, if they're good, they'll release it on a weekly, <laughs> bi weekly basis. And if it's bad, they'll just drop it and hope people forget. Yeah, although a lot of people do like Fallout. Do and they? that I've, was dropped all the manga. I've seen a I'm lot be, of people like it now. About this I actually don't don't mind it. I've seen it's like a mix. There's like some people that hate it, Mike and they say that it. it's yeah. Mike Jeez. liked it. I've seen Josiah liked it. Flash. What? Um, I don't mind it. I didn't finish it yet. I watched. I mean, I don't know what's out. I watched the first three episodes. I know the Fallout lore, but I've uh, I have yet to play all the games. I'm actually going to start with three. I just got it's on you sale. You know what? On Steam. We should review whatever's uh episodes for next week because i'd be curious yeah. to see what he says if you guys want yeah if you want i watched the first three and i i don't think it's like pretty i don't think it's bad like i was entertained by it like i think it was josiah that said that like he's interested in all three characters and you guys want to hear the kicker i think what? they're gonna make okay this, the, the one of the characters is a black guy who's uh like doing some kind of like bad stuff right so i think they might make him the villain and i'm like if they make a black guy a villain that's gonna be a like crazy because they don't do that anymore you know what i mean they're always the the heroes and stuff so i uh i don't I mind mean, i had was. a few people <laughs> I, there's a few people that i see that really just didn't like it um mm-hmm. but i mean when you think of the fallout games like of course there's lore behind the game but there's no characters that you f- you follow really because you make the character in the game and it's someone that you created and you're in this world so they created characters you know for um the mo- like there's three characters that you follow in fallout the series so I don't know. Why, I that's that's a hard your theory part too. About I don't I mean I never played like what you think. Games, Not theory, you play, but your feelings when on you it. Play, uh, when you play a character and you're the protagonist, and what you decide is what ends up being the story. Yeah. And and like I said, I don't know about Fallout because I've never played it. But does it have multiple endings type of thing? Um, yes. Fallout's okay. on sale right now on Steam. By the way, I spent less than five dollars on three, the alt game of the year edition two. Three. Seventy-five percent okay. off. Yeah, go on Steam. Well, 
it, it's not just with Fallout, like the ending, like a lot of the quests, you can choose various different paths. Ian liked and it. What you choose will determine the ending of that quest. Oh! So you've got like a main quest and lots of side so, quests. That sounds. That just sounds like you have multiple, multiple, like how, like what, three hundred endings, four hundred endings. Depending so when you take you a choose. series like this, we'll talk about it next week, but they have, honestly, it gives them a lot of options to make characters, you know, for the show, because there's no main character. Like if you take like, you know, Tomb Raider, you need the main characters, Lara, Fallout, there's no main character. There's just, it's you know. all on sale right now. Yeah, I just got, I might get all of them. Uh, I think I might actually already have four. I can't remember. There's to VR it. too. Oh my God. Yeah, they're oh, all on sale right now. Seventy-five percent off on Steam for all the Fallout games. Oh, I didn't even know that was a for thing. For everyone, yeah, you want to know that? That's cool. I'll There's play yours. Okay. Sounds oh, like so it's a shop. it's a bad port. But either way, I'm excited to see it. Um, Velma, not so much. Disbrew, of course. Oh, I'm excited for this. I'm I'll gonna watch Disbrew's reviews like yeah. last time. I'm gonna crank out the reviews for this one. Uh, like, it was Fred so was horrific. my favorite character. He was the only good character from, from the what OG I. OG or in the uh, no from this one from the well, Velma. Okay. He's supposed to be the bad guy, and I'm like, ah, you know what? I kind of like him. Velma <laughs> is my only video to ever have got entirely demonetized manually, and it's because of one of the clips where uh, Velma was twerking over the corpse of Fred's mom, and they were just covered in gore. And I posted oh my the picture God. on Twitter and it got manually demonetized. So I think someone on YouTube saw my tweet and went to the video to demonetize it. Damn. It was her Damn. like it was a horrible kind of thing that she was doing. But this thing, like her friend's mom has just died, and her She's attitude perfect. is to celebrate. And she looks just like That's the ridiculous. Like it's, it's, like it is literally just a Mindy Kaling uh self-insert. Like if you Last look at the boat, I can't see how it's anything else. I agree on that, and that's because she didn't write too many of those scripts solo. Mm -hmm. I'm not an Office fan anyway. I don't even like the no, English Office. No, no but well, Mindy Kaling is insufferable. She was only tolerable in the Office because it was like, like parodying that the way she, that her like the way she was in it, right? Like it was kind of like making fun of it. Um, I guess I don't know. I think she has come out like against some of the stuff now. The way she acted in the office, it's like, oh, shut up! That's the only reason you're famous. Calm down. Well, and I she hate was that in when that actors do that. Where she was a doctor or something, and it's like a nurse reason... show, right, or something. Yeah, I like the other characters, not her, because she's, uh, she's okay. She's awkward. And for anyone that, that if, if, when you think about that, she is not a self insert, right? And she is the main character. The the main plot of season one was that uh i forgot her name but it's, she's the other one in the uh the photograph that she wouldn't have daphne yeah daphne and people like her wouldn't appreciate the privilege of being beautiful uh and being the uh, sort of correct thing in society where you get a load of privilege but valma being a complete ugly bint would so uh mm -hmm. she's been underestimated her entire life so if we take her brain and put her into the brain of an attractive white dude who's got all of these advantages, then, you know, she'll be able to basically take over the world. And Velma ranted at Fred to um, actually enrage him, to literally, like, enrage his white, his fragile white fr male fragility so that he freed himself of the bonds in his own anger. And then she goes, he, he like, turns on her. It's like, why did you say all that stuff? She's like, I didn't mean it. Well... Well, well, I did, but I got you enraged enough to free me, didn't it? It's like, oh, so the entire show was literally just uh, a bigoted diatribe about how she suppressed herself. That's what society is at this point. People oppressing themselves and blaming it on others. Well, I, I oh, yeah. still don't Absolutely. think they believe what they say. I think they just, it's a useful thing to say because it allows you to do evil things, but not feel guilty for it. And it allows, it gets you benefits. Because if you can convince other people that they've been oppressing you, they'll treat you better to try and make up for their own guilt. That's, do, you guys, do you guys remember the live action ones? Do you like those? I'm sure X-Ray's seen them. I don't know about this. Oh! Um, Love them with Freddie Sarah Prince Michelle, Jr. Freddie Prince, and, and, and uh, Linda. Oh my God, what's her name? The one who played uh, someone in the chat. I'll get it. The one who played Velma. But you remember the scene so where I, I forgot what they were talking about, but he goes like, dorky chicks like you turn me on to Velma. <laughs> 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 so 
so funny. Hey, there's a niche for everyone, okay? I mean, Velma's supposed to be like spicy. I remember the first, because I have the Velma cosplay. That's what I wore for Halloween. The first time I wore it, people were like, you know, Linda, Car- yeah, thank you. Linda, Car- uh, Car- oh my God. Carlini. Cardinelli. Cardinelli. Yeah, Cardinelli. Yeah, Car- yeah, that's the one. Right? Is it? Yeah. Like, I Italian. Right I thought now. you were Italian, Wicked. I am. Well, I'm American. Do you put I'm pineapple on it? <laughs> Ew, no. Based. Gross. Maybe you Sorry, are Italian. I know she likes it. I, I am. She's not so, Italian. This brew's right. You know, like, I always... Like, I'm an American, yes, but there's obviously a different, right? Like, if I have a Polish friend, she, like, she's blonde and pale. I have, like, olive skin. I have features of an Italian. I, so I, I think... It, I, I think it depends Stop how far it. you go back. Which generation you <laughs> but, are? But you would you would travel anywhere in the world, and they would think of you as an American. Like you could the travel cannoli. to you would you could travel to Italy, and they would consider you an American. Oh you yeah, know, of it's course, absolutely of course true. They would. That's so true. So <laughs> I true. I don't. I don't disagree with that. Um. <laughs> uh. But yeah, it's uh. Yeah, and Matthew Lillard, he's still playing Shaggy in the cartoons. Really, he that was a great casting. I don't like. I don't like Freddie Prince Jr. I used to think he was all right. No like, I, he was, I can't stand him now. He's just a... I don't know hey. how Sarah Michelle Gellar does. Well, she... You know what's funny? Um, Off topic, but it's fine. I think she used to be lean a bit more right. Some of the posts that she used to make. And I'm like, oh, cool. So, like, she's based, right? Oh, now she's all, like, you know, Looney oh. Tune, Lefty. And I'm like, great. But, you know, she's That's very... That's a weird Freddie way to Prince. go. Like, she's normally right. it'd be the other way around. Like, yeah, it's, well, she's married to Freddie Prince, and she probably, you know what it probably was, because she did end up getting a new show, which I watched it, because as much as I can't stand, like, her take on stuff, I, I love Buffy, I always really liked Sarah Michelle Gellar, so she had a new show come out, which was not good, it was, the, I forget what it was called, it was like a wolf show, where she's a wolf, and it could have been interesting, but it was kind of like CW level, you know, Um, but I think she turned more to the left, because she wanted to get work. Hey, I, I mean, I... You you gotta do what you gotta do to feed, put food on the table, but she's all of her shows won't. after Buffy. Like it's kind of sad. It's, it it sucks it. for her, but she did a couple of shows after Buffy. She even did a show with Robin Williams, and that failed. And he passed away shortly after that. But all of her shows oh, wow. have he, failed. He hates it that much. <laughs> all of her oh, shows have failed what? after Buffy, God. and that's like all she's known too for. Soon. All, like, always yes. too soon. Like <laughs> always too soon. <laughs> Um, they actually they didn't meet on Scooby Doo. They were married before Scooby Doo, I think, or they were dating. They met on uh, I know what you did last summer in the nineties. No, no, but it's it's like okay, if you, if you think that it was it was Freddie Prince, you're like what? So she was going this way, and then she met Freddie Prince, and like she went left. It's like well, no, they've been together Freddie for a Prince? long time. You must they've have been together since the nineties. Well, yeah, or a massive bank balance. Damn, <laughs> <laughs> that was perfectly timed. We're entirely the wrong comment. It was perfectly fine. <laughs> I'm gonna love that clip. Oh my god. Oh, we're gonna have fun with that. Um yeah, I think you can do go into the brand and play clips too, can't you, X ray, since you're Oh uh, yeah, but I, since I'm not on my like regular PC, I you gotta it, yeah. Yeah, you uh, see, like reach across the desk. Well, I mean like when you're <laughs> home, feel free when you're like at home on your regular setup if you ever want oh, to play a clip. Absolutely. <laughs> we'll get a new uh, one. Yeah. Notice how I don't have the power because I would one hundred percent abuse it. Oh, do you want to? <laughs> Here, I'm gonna give you the power right now. No, because I'd add I'd like add a load of clips that no one knew was there. there and then I'd just play them like there's the clips. I would spam you them. You can do what you want. I don't have my glasses, I can't even see Here, those. I just click them at random. You. Like anytime Wicked well, started talking. Well, this is why you should have a monocle. If you had a monocle, you'd be like, I anytime Wicked. Oh my god! Yes. <laughs> that was not me. Just so everyone knows, my hands are here. What's this? That one? was definitely oh, no, disproved. Yeah. I'm um, looking at some new ones. Okay, I got it. We got confused. Oh, we can definitely add more than that. Oh, okay. <laughs> there we go. Yeah, we'll add a lot more. I just gotta get get on top of it. It's... I've got a few junk three PO ones that'll be gold. Oh god. I mean, I'm not sure how often they'd be gold, but for, at the at first place. I broke the algorithm. When I'm live, people come. Thank you. Welcome Yay! in. <laughs> Hi, Clue. Cheers. Broke it in a good way. Um, See, that that would be a clip. When okay, I'm well, live, I when I'm live, on Super Chats, come. guys. I wasn't the one that said it. I know. I'm just laughing. Chat, if you can clip it and put it on Twitter, then that'll be Don't awesome. Don't listen Thank to this Disburu. He's drunk. Clip on YouTube. Clip. It's easy. Yeah, clip yeah, it. Yeah, anyone that clip wants it. to. Are you out there? 
clip it. Yeah. So oh, psychotic, psychotic mongoose sent me some clips of you X-ray in my di- in my Discord, but I couldn't even play them to see which ones I'd want to download. Like he sent them and then the like clipped it out. It didn't work for some reason. I'll psychotic mongoose. I'll give you my email if you want to send them. It's wicked virtue one at gmail dot com. It's on my. Uh, it's on my. Um, it's on my actual YouTube. If you want to. You don't have to. I'm not trying to put you to work. I'm just saying, if you want to, if you want me to put some extra clips on here. Hey, Wicked okay. isn't even in Vegas, and she's still getting in the mood. <laughs> I have to. I was like, I asked before, I'm like, are you guys going to be drinking? Uh, and they're like, yes. I actually, my wine's almost gone, and I have a couple of Trulies in my fridge that have been there yes. for like yeah, nine months. Filth. He's like, yeah, get that filth. Are you, yeah. He has a bottle of wine. I, take a sip. Please? Really? Five, Five, someone sent a five dollar super chat to bribe this brew. <laughs> I just like, I just like how your tactics went there. It was like it was he's got a bottle of wine next to him. I want him to Please. take a big swig of it. Somebody <laughs> say, drink it. I drank wine I, before. I made it's it just a low disgusting. one. I want to see him drink it, and then I'll get to the other super chats, guys. I'm just saying, well, if, if we bribe him, he might do it. Uh, oh, he's mean, going for it. Well, I need like a glass as well. Oh, he needs a glass. When in doubt, pinky well, out. No, I would, but like someone else is going to drink the rest of it. Oh, too. that's true. That's true. He he's trying to be respectful. Chug boy. <laughs> well, yeah. I, X-ray like gold paying a glasses. stripper. Exactly. I'll make sure he gets the five. I promise. <laughs> <laughs> I will, but not. not he doesn't want to drink it out of the bottle because someone well, like so other people are going to drink it. it. Yeah. So it's like once we get a glass, it'll happen. It's like I'll oh. do it for free. <laughs> anyway, yeah, but the thing with um. Valma season two, all releasing on one day. Oh yeah, Let's it's like they, they this. yeah they clearly don't have any faith in it because they saw the backlash, and I don't think anyone watched oh. that at all. I would. <laughs> Dave Chandler was like five. Do you real? I'm not being funny, but do you realize how like, this is a full ball? And we've got Look, like a we've got like an hour fifteen left of the stream. Just take a nice big chug. I'll listen. I have a decent amount here. I will finish my get, glass get with a, you. Um, a cup. I'll finish. <laughs> Wait till actually, I want to tell her what I said. We'll get to the other super chats, guys. Sorry, I'm getting. I, I'm in the this, mood. This I'm, I'm, I'm in Vegas in spirit. <laughs> she needs. He needs a glass. All right. Well, well, no, because I'd like. I don't know. It's literally the other people. On the, like I, I, I will, would gladly drink from the bottle. I drink the milk from the bowl. I will chug this exactly. with you, Disperu, and then yeah, I'll go. We're, we're, we're and then classy. I'll go get another Truly. We, you we see, so I told so, so we can destroy. Oh wait, the actually, I can't hear yet. Okay, and Dave's <laughs> gonna join us too. So I said someone sent son five to to get Disperu to take a sip, and then Dave Channel was like five. No, <laughs> just so take we a all big see chug. It I love how it's like um, a coffee cup. <laughs> like, is that enough? We keep going. Have a sip. You don't have to drink here. I know you don't. We'll do it. I'll do it. Uh, we'll do. I'll do this chug with you, and then I'll go get a truly. Are we doing? Okay, a we're chug? all having one. We're doing a chug. I oh. said five bucks, and Dave was like, five bucks, <laughs> girl. You're gonna be drunk by the end of this." No, no, no. For yeah. just brew to take a sip, and Dave oh, Chandler well, was well, like, "Yeah, Dave, Dave's said for the rest, so I, I'll, uh, I'll give it. I'll give it my chug. best shot, Dave." Cheers. Here we go. Wait, wait. Cheers. I'm not there. Cheers. <laughs> okay, <laughs> yeah, let's go. We're going up to the camera. <laughs> <It's> like... <laughs> this okay, smells good actually. No, okay, let's do it. What are you smoking? What? You think this smells good? It smells it's, like uh, rotting grapes. It's too sweet, actually. There's you no way. There, there's no way this is sweet. I'm telling you. It's a California wine. That was a big. It's, uh, it's basically progressive. This is his favorite. Is he okay? <laughs> oh, my Hold God, on. He's break down. He's gonna, oh. 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 You look like. Okay, I saw earlier today. Uh. As some photos of Disfru that Steph took on their adventure. Oh God! I, 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 yeah, she took the most horrific photos of anyone in my. But apparently, you know why? It was because she said, "Why don't she?" Went, she went over and went, "Raise your arms," and then just start. She, I don't know what she said. Like, say, she, "I'll take your photograph." I'm like, "This is the Eiffel Tower. You want me to take a photograph in front of the Eiffel Tower?" And I started <laughs> ranting at her. Just and she's for... taking photographs the entire time I'm ranting at her. And so, I'm like, pulling the most weird faces because I'm like, "What on earth do you think you're doing?" Jesper always commentates on everything. He's really like that in real life. Then I'm it's not perfect. surprised. I, I believe I it. it. Well, this is why Camelot said he liked me on the stream, just because it's like. You you can carry a stream because you never stop talking. <laughs> it's like I can just shut Here's up Ray, and you thank just do the you. stream. 
Thank you for the two. All right, I gotta get a truly. Um, actually, you wanna you wanna read a couple of these super. You wanna read a couple of these super chats while I go grab one? It's gonna be like sixty seconds. Thank you. I'll be right back. Um, Cheers, stream. So I wanna read the earliest ones. So we have. Chris Nicholson for $10 says good rule of thumb is you are entitled to present yourself however you want in the world. Absolutely. You are not entitled to other people's reactions to those choices. Yes. Ultimately, all identity is a negotiation. Yes. Every um, every friendship and every conversation is a negotiation. It really is. And I like I think early on, because I was uh quote bullied, uh like actual bullied. I really didn't care. Is that how... why you took up kickboxing? No, I should have been. I had karate. I, I took kickboxing because I was fat, but um, you yeah. know. And then those bullies came. <laughs> and those bullies came. They only bullied me once. Actually, uh, the only time I beat up one of my uh, like people with kickboxing was my friends. <laughs> I what think, I say? The jumped. only time I beat up anyone with my kickboxing is my friends. My friends. So <laughs> they, wow. They, I only they, beat up my friends. Yeah, they kick them jumped up. me. They. They surprised me, and I was walking around the corner. They were playing a joke, and I ended up beating them up as a reaction. Cheers! Yeah, it's a group punch one. I didn't know I had this. Nice. I have a citrus one right now. So yeah, the beforehand because it, it wasn't disgusting and already girl fighting. But anyways, we only did one super chat. I'm sorry. It's okay. I tried to go fast. Your eyes, fine. <laughs> I wonder it's a tropical punch. Maybe this brew would like this one. Tastes like static and no, I look, I like pineapple. No, I wouldn't. That doesn't take taste anything like pineapple. You know what this That's one's the main uh, problem. No one's gonna I don't remember the name of this one. My mom used to drink this energy drink like I don't know, fifteen years ago. It kinda smells like that. If you're in the UK, Noco energy drinks are amazing. It actually Noco? tastes pretty damn Noco. good. Noco. Okay. N O double C O. You can get them off Amazon. They don't have the downside of a lot of energy drinks like Monster. Well, when when me when me and actually girl go on our world tour, we'll get one. Oh, in yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh my god, <laughs> this would be fun if we did a stream in Disperu setup. I know he just goes. Let me just go live. I'd have, and, I'd like, have to clean the there. fucking house first. Jesus. <laughs> He's like, wait, no, I don't want to clean. We're not Look, doing this. Lady G's, already di- Lady G's already disgusted when she said, how do you sort things? And I said, piles. Oh, my oh God. No. He was like, Let's clean, clean a pile. We'll do a dirty stream. Well, there I, I, you go. It's the, it's the best organizational X-ray. system you can have. It's Me the most X-ray efficient both and very, the least like, We're both kind of like OCD and we like to clean to relax. So just have us over. And oh, we'll, we'll just yeah. want to clean no, for yeah. you. We'll make a scene. He's like, oh, yeah, you come over. We'll see the bomb site, and then it'll be tidy by the time yeah. we leave. I mean, you got a bachelor always... pad. It, it'll be in, like, um... Put... You should have got milk in, like, a, a like tub of cheese and a stretch. That's it. <laughs> uh, actually, when I'm filming, I do often just have, like, cheese and milk next to me, and I just eat it as I'm filming. Oh, rat child, uh, for a maid outfit, it's going to be a lot of, a huge goal Well, that. that was already negotiated for tabletop. So just so you know, it is an option. Oh, God. I didn't say clean on tabletop, though. In the outfit. Oh, Ian, well, I mean, the you, You'd only be tidying your own room on camera. That, that's like benefiting you. This room pointing at the Eiffel Tower and ranting anyway, just in time for election season. <laughs> yes. Hey, look, I'm not involved in the French elections. It's fine. Well, and that, besides, what they're going to do to me? Run away. Oh, my God. It was so cute watching people who didn't know what an Eiffel Tower was learn what an Eiffel Tower was. Even Blabs knew Aww. what an Eiffel Tower was. <laughs> why are you know what spit was? Wait, why are you saying even Blabs like she's not a smart girl? No, no, no. no, no. Know what DP meant. Blabs doesn't know what DP meant. I didn't meant. either. I thought it meant display port. She also didn't know what spit roasting was. I don't know what that is. Don't look it up. I'm not going to look it up. We need you to look it up, Wicked. I'm not going to look it up, just we, we, we need you. Don't we tell need me what you. to do. Hey, need... Okay, what is it called? If someone super chats $100, spit, Wicked spit will have to type look it, at it. Type in, uh, type in Urban Dictionary. No, 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 no. no. Spit roasting. We're monetizing not... it. $100 <laughs> super chat, Wicked will look I up. I don't want to look roasting. it up. <laughs> That, you don't have to until someone super chats it. So let's just enjoy. I life. don't want. Look, to, oh my god! Th- this has become a stand- I want to say oblivious. This has become a standard part of side scrollers, and it, it, to be honest, I have to admit it's my favorite part. After the DP thing, my my favorite response was when I went. Um, it starts with double, and then it, it there's like a pause, and Melanie Matt just goes. 
<laughs> but once she realizes, I die. Like, immediately. The reaction when she puts two and two together. A blabs, no idea. Oh, so I feel like it's fine. And then after that, people started doing it. It's like, that you is guys are scaring me. a de facto part of the stream. And it's just like, we will take your innocence. <laughs> it's that's all it is. Yeah. I don't know what And that the means. reason I put $100 is because I'm trying to hide your innocence. Yeah, but we can. You. She cares we, about me. She's like I'm going mom it. mode. If, <laughs> if, like, if I, if I stay innocent. It. I'm not like I'm not dumb, but like I don't know everything. I seriously thought DP meant display port, and Blabs thought it meant Doctor Pepper. It, bless her. It really does. It also can mean display picture. I should have thought. I'm surprised I didn't think Doctor Pepper because I used to work uh, 13 well, years out in the restaurant, Parson. and we used to write all the orders. <laughs> no, it is. I mean, I'm, I'm trying. <laughs> He's trying no. to be innocent. Let him let him no, live his no, life. No, stop. <laughs> innocent I, I, life. I, 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 have, I have a I have a question for Wicked. Like, ca can we play the side scrollers thing of Blabs looking up? Um, uh, spit roasting. Maybe we'll, we can, we, we'll see oh, if we can find it. I don't know. I don't, it. Is it going to get me demonetized? It's going to get the stream well, clip. Well, I mean, well, it's well. only going to it's only going to repeat words that we've already said multiple times. And look, okay, there's nothing I'm wrong. With, get there's nothing wrong chance. with a spit roast. There's a nice piece of beef. I don't want to know what it is. Ew! What? Super chat. Um, Dave Chandler, thank you for the 10. The old Orpheum, uh, Orpheum Theater here in town still has its original chairs. The chairs are super uncomfortable because they were built for Americans when we were short and skinny. No, all <laughs> your chairs are like massive and wide. Like you can put your, your arms in the chair at the side and you still have room before you hit the arms. That's how wide American chairs are. Like, I'm, sitting in, if, I'm sitting like Indian style right now, so I guess maybe you're right. On my chair, wow. like my legs crossed. Well, Sorry. I mean, like, was that uh, <laughs> not culturally appropriate? My bad. No, oh, I just God. wasn't aware. No, not you. I know you won't care. <laughs> what a big <laughs> wow! Just for all of a sudden caring about them Indian cross like at this. I believe I believe every good thing in the world and disbelieve every bad thing in the world. <laughs> Lucifer the Doberman member for two months. Thank you. Sending love to my favorite streamers, Aiden, Pal Paladin, and Mark the Cyborg. Hope they are taking it easy. They are. They're both on their phones. Scrolling. You said Aiden has a margarita. I'm very jealous. Aiden has a margarita. And I love she margaritas. Looks so happy and warm right now. <laughs> and we just had Chick fil A. Jesus Chicken. Mm -hmm. I haven't yet. I'm Apparently comfortable. I have here, I'm going to trigger this brew. I have pajama pants on to sprue trigger. Do you? Which kind? Yeah. Hey, at least you've got pants on. Because it's a Nightmare on Elm Street. Yes. <laughs> Sorry. I, I can, I can I mean, stand up and prove it. I have legs. I have legs. I have legs. I have legs. Whoa. I didn't know that. I thought he just <laughs> like. <laughs> I have Nightmare. I said Nightmare on Elm Street. I have Nightmare Before Christmas pajamas on. They're my favorite. I wear them a lot. Oh my God. I, I was my favorite I, see, pajamas. It, it, isn't it weird how like the difference between like a Canadian mind and a British mind? Because you're like, no, he's definitely got pants on. And no, I'm like, no, no. I, I meant optics in terms of like, because we're we're here. We have Mark um, is literally there. No, no, Mark is literally there. But like optics wise, oh, sometimes huh? people take it the wrong <laughs> way. <laughs> no, people take it the I, wrong I way. Throwing my oh yeah, the, oh, my the God, the I got out a hotel. Well, yes, technically, but yes. our, our put a husband there. there. <laughs> he is in the cuck chair. Oh my god! I, I didn't know you knew about the cook chair. No, he brought it up. Oh, okay. first time. Oh no! It, it, it's a, yes, yes. It, yeah. It, okay. All cool. right. Like, nine, 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 nine. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna get a couple more of these super chats. So sorry, guys. We are getting saucy. Sorry, I know you're happy. Saucy. It's been a while since all of us got saucy together. So <laughs> you're welcome. Yeah, it's not um, good for me. <laughs> Justin Martins for five. Thank you. As disturbing as Disbrew's technical take is, he's not wrong. It follows, so to speak. No. I got it. I'm, I'm gonna post it in the chat. No. He just did the Leonardo DiCaprio meme. No, the point. <laughs> I, wish, I wish I wish we had I no, no, but I mean the way he pointed. I wish we had more memers in here because I feel like Disbrew needs to be memed more. I mean, I'm the only person who ever gets quoted in this video. Because you say things I like, I wish I could lactate. <laughs> That's why you say it's things a, like a, that. It's a, very, it's a very old joke. It's just an English joke. <laughs> no, it's just the picture like, of it is funny. I, I posted it in the in the chat. The one okay, one second. Let me get Mac Flies. Thank you for the $2. Look up Sheila Jackson Lee's speech about the moon. What? 
Okay, let me X out Velma. I'm so no, tired. No, no, of no. I this, can please. I can share what Disproof. You got said it. Okay, thank you. To, um, while you're doing that. Um, oh, I missed this one, Ginger. While you're talking about Fallout, thank you for the two dollars. New Vegas is goat. Fallout Four is pretty decent. Okay, thank you, Ginger, for the two. Uh, because this because uh, Wicked doesn't know. She doesn't know. Just yeah. leave it. Just leave it. It's right. fine. Let the chat. Look, lie. they love Dolly Parton. Uh, they absolutely love Mark huh? Dolly Parton. <laughs> That's why they're wearing the t-shirts at a Dolly Parton convention. They really like display ports and Dr. Pepper. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Absolutely. This is an hot. ugly face. I know. Listen, Dolly Parton. Actually, never makes ugly faces. Somebody say that and chat, you better not have. No, that's me. You, no, <laughs> just, you stop it. You never make an ugly face. I just sorry, I didn't mean to yell at her in front of everybody. <laughs> Rar! Uh, nine, Ray nine, became nine, a nine. member. Nine 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 nine. Ray, thank you for becoming a member. Welcome here. You know what? We haven't done this in a while, so let's saucy. saucy. I, I can't find. I can't. The only clip that I've seen was shown to me by Craig himself, so I don't even know if he's uploaded it yet. Probably not. Uh, DP one? No. The the Spit we watched that one. one like last. Oh week. no, he just he just. Filmed it, so he hasn't posted it yet. Oh, okay. Yeah. Um, you want to read this one, Disparu? I feel like you'll do a good job at this one. Uh, uh, oh, sorry. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Uh, Magnet. Uh, Magnum Norse for five dollars says OJ Simpson was his name, and stabbing women was his game. Ripper OJ. I like orange juice. Look, I think you must have quit. It, like, orange you know, juice it, is great. Why do we talk about orange so juice all the time? You. This. Week. I don't understand. Do you want to know what sucks? That OJ played for the Bills, so that's like a shadow over my ball. <laughs> is, is it weird that despite the last comment, I still think Az's comment on FNT was worse? About when, what? When we were at the podcasting studio and he went, hey, if you can't afford it, well, you could just break in. And I'm like, <laughs> we're literally there at the place that had a break in a year ago. It's like, what? Too soon? <laughs> We'll let X Ray read one now. For that. I wasn't ready for that. I'm gonna uh, take a break. <laughs> Webster for five Australian says hi to Thank you, Beijing and splendiferous X Ray girl and delightful wicked virtue and calls things as he sees it. Disparu, absolutely true. Couldn't uh, do it anywhere other way. <laughs> saucy Saturdays. I'm not clever enough to lie. That's the problem. Uh, this is That's the good. one good thing. Well, oh, more, it's more I don't care enough to lie. <laughs> it's like absolutely he's true. too lazy to lie. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> It's well, like I don't have to care about other people, like actually what they thought. It's like eh, you can either like me or not. I'll, I'll, I'll just cope with the consequence. What you see is what you get with Disper. Yeah. <laughs> I heard that. I, 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 I'm a traditional English. That's why I drink. Oh no, I couldn't speak for a moment there. I want to see Disper. Okay, if we ever have a meetup where there's a, a professional, like, you can go play this one. Listen, I could. I'm no. I'm sorry. Stop it. I'm gonna come to UK with. I'm the X-ray Wicked World Tour. I wish I had an echo thing, like world you tour. To Vegas. No, <laughs> but it's far. It's way more fun. We're gonna go on a world tour. She wants to go to the UK. Really, we go to Ireland. I want to go to Ireland and the UK. Um, but I can't wait to have a Guinness in Ireland. I can't drive because um, it was too. over the limit. Uh, what was I gonna say? Oh, we should all dress up because I want to see Disparu in like a Kingsman <laughs> suit. We're gonna dress up and do a live fancy stream oh, against I'll, 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 I'll wear a suit. I've worn suits before. I mean, I believe it. Like, I, I own I, one. What would we wear? <laughs> no, 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 no. I, we can, I, we can wear suits too. <laughs> I, 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 have, I have done, jo I have done jobs where you had to uh, wear suits all the time. I knew Disparu was a Kingsman. I freaking knew uh, it. I like like some movies so much. Like, okay, Disparu. Like, I'll see you in that suit. <laughs> Here, this is them right now. Damn. <laughs> I'm, I'm still on the same. I gotta cut my hair. The guys, for it, because there's guys oh. in here that are completely straight that still simp for Disparu, but and that's, that's fine. True. That's not. It's true very at true. All. That, that's oh, it's not true. Wait, you're, it's I, I'm not Dan Bask. If you are simp, in although Dan is completely straight. If you're a simp in the chat for Disparu, I would like to see the hands up emoji, please. If you're if you're a simp for like Wicked that. or X-ray girl, then put a number two in the chat. I, 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 I'm not in the chat, but I'm in the See. We've already got one. That's called a husband. Like, well, yeah, that's a, yeah, that's he's, he's, he's out, he, but he he's can also out for everybody else. Too. Did, he did he raise his hand when he said that? Like, he's such he a massive simp. He traveled to Las hey. Vegas for her. This is important. Did he raise his hand when he said that? Because that means no, that he, he said for He said, "I am a simp." For yeah, he literally said, "I am a simp." For right over here. He did say okay, it. but he raised his hand, so that means that he he's simping for both of you. See the chat. 
the chat is always right. The chat so, is look at look chat look at wait wait benevolent omnipotent being <laughs> of everything. There you go, for all of us, all three okay, of us. So, right, yeah. Let's just like, <laughs> that is a lot of twos. Okay, I, that I is actually more twos than even I was expecting. To be honest, too. I was expecting one two. That, that is, you guys that should is make an extra girl blush. Is a two for a lot. There's literally every. Have you seen that? Literally every. I love sixty nine. MT <laughs> MTB Steve is just like four twos, what and then it's just three? two 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 two. Hokies, even your mods okay. are playing twos. Who, if you sit for wicked, put a one in the chat. There we go. I'm gonna go away. I'm just kidding. <laughs> oh. <Aww. laughs> I've been drinking enough. I need to get more red. <laughs> See, Disparu is a Chad. Thanks. Yeah. Chad Sparrow. We I have made Chaz Chad Sparrow. You guys remember? Only... You should make lazy chic. Oh, thanks, guys. He got the California haircut well, now. Well, well, no, this is the thing. It's like I literally describe myself as sort of um I just wait wake up and turn on the camera and it got turned into a style. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't know hairdressers could do that. <laughs> it's like... Honestly, he looks so good. Let's wait. Can we get a new hair flip with your new voluminous haircut from well, this Nerdrotic? Yeah, like wax put in it. So, oh, uh, so it's not going to move. It's going to go. Yeah. <laughs> I'll see if I can get you a clip, suspended. Wicked. Get a nice clip. Uh, yeah. I got to check. So you want to know something really dumb that I did, guys? And I'm going to tell you and 800 people watching. So I made a video that I worked really hard on. And I did it at like 1230 in the morning. I was about to upload it. I was like, oh, yeah, I'm happy with this video. And I was drinking wine. And I accidentally. <laughs> That's why you're happy with it. I, no, it was, hey, I'm still happy with it, but I was like excited I, to upload well, it. I feel, I feel so like I was excited to upload it, and my settings on my video editor like reset, and it was on lower quality. So I uploaded it, and you know how YouTube doesn't upload in HD uh, right away, like it's what lower do you quality. Use as a video editor, I use Filmora. I fixed the problem now, but it uploaded it low quality. Off. That's what everyone says. I'm, I'm gonna look into it. I'm just so used to Filmora now, and I paid for it a year. I uploaded it in low quality, then I delete it and reload it. So that might be I, that might be what I did with the clip that you sent me a mic, but I don't know because I think it was actually low quality. Like when I re-downloaded it, you know what I mean? Uh, I yeah, know. I've got I've got all the originals. I can upload them to like uh, Google, Drive. Google Drive or whatever. Yeah. I'll look into DaVinci because you said it's free too. But I did pay for I think a yeah. year with Filmora, but d during this year I'll take the time to learn DaVinci so that when my payment is up, I'll just use that. There's a free, I use DaVinci. Uh, there's a free version of DaVinci, which, it, it, I mean, it doesn't have some effects and stuff, but it, its main thing is it doesn't have GPU acceleration. But if you're doing 1080p, it it won't really bother you. Um, and but even the paid version, it's like a couple of hundred dollars for a lifetime license. So even then, it's it's not too bad. And uh, it's a software used by literally like movie, like literal films for color grading and things. So uh, they do a good job. I used to use yeah. um. Adobe Premiere all the time. I tried DaVinci Resolve for literally half an hour and just bought it and switched. It's, oh. it's that much better. Okay, I'll look into it. Um, no, Terry, I have not. I'm still innocent for the time being. I don't know what it means. I, okay, uh, let me get a couple more of these super chats and then we'll go into our next topic. Cause <laughs> so just me, like... Let me get a couple more drinks and then I'll look it up. I don't know. I'm doing chat. <laughs> I'm just happy to be here. Hello. I remember you. Who? Oh, Neil. Sorry. I forgot I highlighted something. Neil, thank you for the $4.99. It was great to meet you on Wednesday, extra girl. This brew. I didn't get to meet you, but it was awesome. You came across the pond for the meetup. Oh, awesome. I wish yeah, I Yeah, Gary I, was I, like, I, you didn't tell me you were coming across. No, <laughs> like, he didn't. He surprised. Uh, I, I, I blabbed it on FNT, but the funny part is it's technically not a secret because he did make it public and a I felt a little like kind of weird being one like, oh, Dispro will be there <laughs> when it's not coming out of Dispro's mouth. But you kept everything super last minute. Yes. Well, that's what I do with everything. That's what mm -hmm. I do with my videos. So, like when you see my video, I've that, literally just finished it. And then I just upload it and make it go live. I'll I'll say it's better to do that as a female. As a male, it doesn't really matter as much. As a female, yeah. I don't like to like people ask, like, are you going here? Are you going there? When are you going there? When are you going there? And I'm like, I'm not gonna say a public <laughs> Some people are a little. I'm just, you never know. Little... Oh my god, we were at um, Meow Wolf yesterday, Area 15, and 
There was a girl that was there that was a kick streamer, and there was someone in the chat. Oh, yeah, she was live streaming her food. She was live streaming as she was eating. There was a guy that was like, I'll be there in five minutes and manhandle you. And oh my God. Not that we were hoping that it happened, but you were like interested, invested in this. I was invested in the story. (laughs) And yeah. I remember asking Craig, I'm like, Craig, are you going to intervene if something happens? He's like, oh, of course. I'm not going to let anything happen in that sense. So I was like, I'm glad she's safe in that sense. And she was fine. Yeah. No one came in man tumble. So I, I mean, I, I have seen live streams where they're like walking along the road and people will come up to them and they track them down from what they saw in the background and stuff. So Which is why it I definitely don't do happens. That. Yeah. Yeah. Even though we screwed up when we went to, to uh, Anchor Bar, but good thing, like, Buffalo's not that wild, right? Like if we were it in was Florida so or like last somewhere minute. big, and it was very I, last minute. Yeah, um, I, I think there's um, an element of yeah, the we, time we messed up on that, that one. as well. <laughs> yeah, we're not discuss. Yeah, discuss. yeah, we're not like yeah, we're not like uh, pity streamers. Let's just Whoa. say it. we're not. <laughs> there was one where she's like twenty subs and I'll hit on a guy. Yeah, yeah. I, see, so I, but kick you... is wild. You want to know something? I know when. So I have a couple of the kick, um, like team members, like uh, employees that follow me on kick, and and they'll put me on the front page. I've done it a few times, and I appreciate it. But I always know when I'm on the front page because someone will come in and say something super freaking weird, and my mods are yeah. working overtime. So last time it was a couple days ago. I was on, and sometimes the one guy's DJ, uh, Ord, I think his name is. He's a, a kick staff member will come and be like hey i put you on the front page so you know i'm like oh thank you so now no one says anything to me i just get put on the front page sometimes which i i'm again very thankful like thanks for that but someone came in and was just like i want to smell your chair and i was like am i on the front page i was like am i on the front page and it was hokies was like yeah you're on the front page and like you know he's working overtime he's like the top mod on me i'm like they say stuff like that and like i had one person come in and was like you you should show more skin so you can get more followers i'm like I, mean, I didn't I mean, even acknowledge that's, good, but that's, that's just it is fitting advice. an option, but you got morals. Yeah, exactly. I don't need to do that because it's like he comes in while I have 200 people watching me on kick, and I'm like, yeah, I mean, if, sure. If I was wicked. Let me take your morals. advice. I know. This was like, <laughs> I'm a, I would be the biggest I, whore ever. Yeah, I would be the absolute. I'm always like that. They're, they're like, I would be such a I, hoe and make I so would much be the money. Mass, but the, the biggest. You would be like, the, yeah. You're like, yeah, I'd be naked on stream. Yeah, I, I'd be the big. I'd be pushing the rules. They I'd be the one do. that goes live on Dexerto, and people are like, oh my god, I can't the believe he's, he's just come on with. Yeah, you can't just believe he's come up with like green screening his press. <laughs> It's like there's loads of stuff like that. Me and extra girl are going to sell our chairs. Yeah, I, I would, it's, it's, it's just a good job. I'm not a woman. I, I couldn't be trusted with that power. And that he would be. Too, he'd so be one of those funny. streamers streaming on his butt. That would be just. Yeah. Oh, absolutely. <laughs> I'd be the one. Yeah. Co- I'd be the one coming up with new things. Pushing this brew would yeah. sell his <laughs> breast milk. <laughs> I, I, I could not be trusted with that power. <laughs> that that is too much power for someone such as me. No. Uh. Can I have that truly can when you're done? Yeah, fifty bucks. I'd, I'd sell everything. I'd be like, I've just sat on this chair. Do you want it? Oh, sorry. I don't care for that. I don't care for those clips. He's like, I will. Like, I don't care I've, at this moment. Yeah, I've used this chair for the last week. Is but fine? tomorrow she's gonna be like, <laughs> it's well, it's fine. Worst happening for the next three years. Well, and to be fair, there's a lot of stuff that I've done on the internet at this point. That's probably a drop in the bucket. Yeah, yeah. I can't wait for our next live stream together. We might have some like really cool stuff. I mean, we're gonna have cool stuff, but there might be like extra really cool stuff happening this summer with X Ray, and I'm really excited. Uh, I'm making plans, and she doesn't even know what I'm waiting. I'm like, okay, so what are your the dates? She's gonna invade Canada. Yeah, Yeah. I mean, Wicked is is raising an army to invade Canada. Thinking about it, um, minor. Let's face it, they're gonna fight back. They'll just apologize to you. Like, oh, Oh, sorry. I bumped it. You bumped into me. Sorry. Yeah, sorry. Um, you can still now. <laughs> you like oh, not that Jessica's gonna punch me, but like I'll still apologize to him. <laughs> He's gonna be like, yeah, I'm sorry, not gonna punch you your fist. <laughs> uh, minor you punch me? Oh, No, 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 no. <laughs> <For> two dollars. <laughs> What's my, you don't have to oh, tell me this twice. Is for X-ray. Sorry, this is for X-ray. My bad. Minor Zakan for two dollars says, "What's a pineappling X-ray? I mean, what's gay? Definitely me." I only know like the. the she pineapple. just said that. What's pineapple? I only know like the pineapple from Metal Gear Solid. I'm when he's looking at the famous and going, it's the. Oh, look what I've got. It's a pineapples, the famous. It's like right at the start of Metal Gear Solid. 
No, she's gonna drink milk. I'm sure there's a like a bunch of milk in that room right now. I have not <laughs> actually been humble for this it's entire all time. It's from X-ray because I've been drunk the entire time instead. <laughs> okay, let me let me get back on more super chat. <laughs> I can we, see if we, we get this drunk quickly. in a while. We, we, oh I don't drink that much. I really don't. I mean, I never really did, but like I, I've been having like like an actual glass of wine, maybe while I'm making dinner, like the small one, not a wicked or x-ray glass of wine that's like bigger than our face. Um, I've been having like small ones. Uh, so, but I thought, I'm like, I have to go hard a, because the you, crew's going hard. You should make an exception for Saturdays. Yeah, I know I should. Because this was like, I'm tired of drinking whiskey alone. You guys need to drink. Yes, exactly. <laughs> I was probably saucy Saturdays and then everyone went teetotal on me. <laughs> I sometimes I do. Sometimes you don't know. Sometimes I'll have like a little wine. I'm just not You're like not this giggly. giggly. Exactly. I know I'm very no, giggly. Drunk I'm a giggly go drunk. Go home. Go you know home. who's a giggly drunk? Oh, I can't say. I can't. You know who? It's, Sorry, it's I can't tell you. It's not bro, okay? Because obviously he's giggly. He's just giggly. <laughs> no, no, even, on, even on your like um your some big substream that you know with the progressive whiskey yes. even as went you're remarkably easy to make laugh tonight so it's like yes yeah, yeah, yeah yes this is why i love disproved and when he was like i don't know if i should go on yes you should go on well this is the thing like some people get like for your drunk. 20k other people get aggressive drunk i just get like laughter drunk yes. <laughs> it's like awesome. everything's funny Congratulations. I saw your channel is like blown up recently. So thank you. Who, mine? Sub. Yes. Oh yeah. Thank you guys. I know it's been crazy. I had I had like 300 people watching me even on Rumble when I, on my Wicked World the other day. I was like, whoa, I never oh, get people over there. Insane. So I yeah, appreciate it. Thank up, you. up, up, and up. So I know I should do a 5k celebration when these guys get home because I gotta like have them on, even if it's for a few minutes. Do it again, <laughs> just through what Wicked did. <laughs> <laughs> that's gonna get screenshot. I mean, it's better than Kawaii. I don't know that's. What is that? Someone the... in the chat. Oh, I, if I, could do... ooh, ooh. I did it all the way up here. See, I'm dumb. I need to X-ray to show me the ways of the Asian. Uh, yeah. I saw like there are people saying clit is happening. Uh, if you watch D and D, you'll know it's um yeah. Kylar and Flit, which is our D yes. characters. Which, by the way, we hate each other. So I don't. <laughs> yes. Oh God. Well. No, no, because Kylar as Dragonborn like likes that you oppress all the ferrets. Yes. So you, you essentially because you oppress the ferrets, he's Why he's like that, that's actually amazing. So but then I flick flick over to the ferret Kylar, and then he's like, "How dare you oppress my people?" And I need to like lead a revolution against you, you evil scum. <laughs> and so it's like flicks yeah. between the two. Adorable. The, the biggest issue was though that Kylar when he was under Oral was the. Um, she had a thing that you, you couldn't actually get with anyone else. It was like you were cold-hearted. But now, he's like a fire dragonborn. So it does what actually get... What do you think this clip might happen at this point? Well, Probably I, I'd have to get permission off Mark. Uh, <laughs> no, no, no. Flit well, as a D and d character is basically... Um, what's the word where you're not into relationships? Incel. I don't know. No, that's asexual. a little bit different. Asexual. Oh. Asexual. She's asexual. Oh, yeah, yeah. Asexual. You're not, like, attracted to anybody. Yeah, yeah she's from outer space. Yeah. From outer Even space. though I'm from the same she's planet. She's like the buried. Look, I'm not... Look, I've got scales. I'm not furry enough for her. But when you're a fairy, it's so cute. Yeah, but then he despises you. I know. That's so, like, the only, the, the only time Kylar has happening. a chance is when he can't physically stand her and he wants to, like, freeze entire people. Like... <laughs> Clit is the new, like, Shakespearean Romeo and Juliet, except they never got together. They're like star-crossed lovers, that the only time it's physically possible is when they just, well, one side despises the other one. It's always and then they flits round, and they despise each other the other way. Like, Kylo's like, I like you, I don't like you, you evil scum. <laughs> so it's like, they were born at the wrong times. Like, <laughs> star-crossed lovers. We could, like, uh-huh. I don't know any about this, anything about it. I'm just letting you guys go off. <laughs> Let me get some of these super chats because I'm falling behind. I'm so sorry, guys. This is what happens when Saucy Saturdays actually get saucy. Um, Jason Webster, that was like a mischievous little smile. I actually just like <laughs> took a sip. 
Jason Webster, thank you for the Australian 10. Went out for an early lunch with relatives, which consisted of grilled salmon, half a dozen giant prawns, sweet potato fries, and a garden salad. So I completed a weight loss session to work it off. Nice. That sounds good. I love it. It does sound good. What is sounds the garden good. salad? Is it where like you crawl around on the floor and just eat the local plants? Yes. Yes. <laughs> I just went out to the exactly. garden and started eating things. How did you know? Yeah, I thought, you know. I'm looking hated right now. She's doing it. It's like you're American. So I was like, well, <laughs> when in Rome. <laughs> oh, so nightmare for two dollars thank you says don't worry it's all tamer than whitney wisconsin who is it uh, i, I, I will google her for you here i'll let x-ray read dirtier this one than dp i don't know i, <laughs> I, I, go, I don't actually know uh jason webster for five australian says movie crossovers we need to see evil dead house party paranormal um uh jack butt Godzilla X Kong. Oh, you know what? I agree with Godzilla Kong Pacific Rim because they're basically yeah. like high juice. Uh, mm -hmm. Mean Girls Scream. That would be fun too. Just, about just, this naked just, top just, gun. Just read the bottom of the highlighted section. Thank you for the five, Jason. I'm not, not saying not, that. No, no, no. I said not out loud is what I was going for. Uh, just so you know who she is. That's why. So, so Whitney likes peanut butter. Yeah, she'd like to put peanut butter on herself for. Um, Local oh, pets. Man. Ew. Oh, oh, we That's talked about this before. I, I, I put it out of my mind because I don't want to know. Well, well, hold I on mean, a second. Living, Mark sent another meme, guys. Oh, no. Florida. Wait, is Mark like Mark? He's in, in the bedroom right now. I was gonna say, he sent, it, he sent even, it on uh, Twitter. He's not even here. Still would. Well, wait, who are like. Is that meant to be you? I don't know. And that's confusing me. It, it, like, uh, isn't that cloud? I think it's cloud. cloud. Yeah. This is very gay. <laughs> it's yeah. gay. I don't mean it, it, a bad it, way. Like, it, 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 well, gay. well, is it though? Because it's like blabs as a man with a man saying still would. But it is blabs. No, I, it's I, it's Cloud saying still would. Because Cloud yeah. made the meme. But, yeah, it but Cloud, Cloud is a man. If, if as does a man with boobs, is that gay? No, but no, no, this is blabs as a man. No, no, that's what I'm saying. Same thing. Ish. No, it's the other way around. Does it, Blabs still have boobs as a man? Well, exactly. So it would be <laughs> if Az would do her without boobs. That's gay. But with well, boobs... yeah, because you've like removed all the like the important bits. Like you, you're just left with all the useless stuff. Chat, is that gay? One if it's if gay. Boobs. One if it's 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 still gay. I'm so sorry, <laughs> wicked. We're drunk. <laughs> no, it's okay. So I'm tipsy too. I'm trying to catch up on these super jets because I feel bad. Um, Slosher, thank you guys so much. You're awesome. Uh, Slosher, thank you for the Canadian Five. I'm afraid of the day when Blabs finds out what an Alabama hot pocket. Ew, I don't want to know. I, I, I think I Ew, know. what is I, that? I, it sounds terrible. I, thank you for the Five. I love awesome. pizza pockets. I, don't I, I do love that. Hot I'm, you know I'm what hot sure pockets are good? Hot pocket is. But the I, egg I, and bacon an Alabama, one. An, the breakfast one. Alabama. Alabama. <laughs> Look, it's a weird word to say at the best of times, let alone when you're in English in a different country oh and drinking. God. Blame, yeah, sure. Blame Look, us. Just blame I, us for I am, everything. I am not Camelot, right? It is used to this. Oh my God. Does it, Camelot, if you're still here, have you ever done Alabama hat pot? Yeah, Have you done a hat pocket? I, th I think he has because I've just Googled it. Do I want to go? I don't want to Google it. Ew. <laughs> He's like, he's, this is oh. right away goes, I think he has. All right, I'm just going to Hey, continue. look, this is Camelot, he'd agree. Camelot would be like, there's nothing beneath Camelot. Rye the guy, thank you for five. I didn't know what a Cleveland streamer was until Peter what? Griffin said it on Family Camelot Guy. Would, we all know Camelot would agree. I looked it up and I'm really sorry I did. Why are all these things happening? I don't want to look up what a uh, Cleveland I, streamer is. I, like oh, no, no, I, I, know, I know a Cleveland streamer. Oh, we're going to blame like, Craig. Um, I know that one. Is that? straightening your clothes like a steamer no okay. in cleveland <laughs> it's where you know how people no. <laughs> don't I, say i love how i'm doing this you, and i can still hear him you know how He's people like, were doing like you know how people were putting a number stream. two in the chat before well imagine if they weren't just putting it in the chat and they were putting it on your chest oh my no no square <laughs> 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 Jay started. Oh, wait, you know how that started. Do you guys know how that started? Because uh, of the meetup. A... Well, I, I, no, I, it was I know it meet up. genuinely started. What? How, oh, well, how it started. I think this is how it started. 
Well, like, I, oh, it's probably different, but I remember, like, it kind of started when at the meetup, because oh, no. Big O's was no, messing no, around, saying that he was going to push me down the, the stairs. I the same. No, what is the song no. from somewhere else? Oh, wait, no, no, yeah. I didn't start it. Yeah, no, no, no Don't touch me from there. It has, a, my it has no, no. a really dark <laughs> origin. I don't want to know. I'm just going to stick to it happened at the meetup and just no, started no, it. No, it was from, I don't want to know. I can't remember the exact, I think it was, like, Sweden or something. Uh, but they had an issue with a particular crime, which they didn't want to keep increasing. The Cleveland uh, steamer. And so they thought that if they came up with a video that they could show a specific group of people, uh, then they would teach like them. Like a public the, service announcement video, kind of? Almost. It's like, yes. Um, and that they did the whole, this is my no-no square, you can't touch me here, because it turns out that cultures aren't the same around the world. What? Turns out like, oh my God. <laughs> what a surprise there! <laughs> oh like, no! Like everyone's equal, really. Have you have you met people apart from your neighbors? No. Here you go, Disbrew. This one's for you. Thank you, Justin, for the two dollars. Oh my God! I am half a spit roast. That is true. Mm, well, one well, third. One third. Yes, yes, that's correct. One third of a spit roast. And you even, require three to well, make a well, spit roast. Well, even then, you could be like. Surely the middle bit is the majority of the spit roast, and everyone else is like a tenth of the spit roast. What? Oh, so the accessories to the spit yeah, roast. Yeah, yeah. Patrick said that for the Swedish people, by the way. It's like it's the best bit, but it's also not particularly large. That's what she said. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's continue <laughs> before Wicked has to look what that is. <laughs> I don't want to. Jason Webster, thank you for the five. Now, for your listening pressure, X Ray Girl and Disproof will sing Islands in a YouTube stream. What's Islands? I don't know what that is. I'm probably Thank you. To, He's probably drunk enough to do it. <laughs> He's I'm so excited up. because I, I what it. we're going to do after this. Oh, yeah. We're almost done. We got it. Okay. Let me get through these super chats. No, and no, we'll no. no, rush, our story. no I know, but you guys are in Vegas. You should be having fun. Dave Chandler. Thank you. We for all the, having I know this fun. Is That's fun. why we're I here. I know this is fun. I'm just saying like Vegas stuff, but okay. Dave Chandler. Thank you for the 50. We have a, we have a time limit. We're not really sure yet. Oh, okay. Endorsing the dress up episode. Go full mad men. Disprove in a suit and hat. The ladies in pencil skirts and blouses with pearls. Oh, I would love that. I have like old school retro pearls. dresses. I don't have pearls. Dave just wants you to have a pearl necklace. I have a pearl drop as a necklace, but I haven't changed my ex either. in like uh, a couple months. I have a few retro dresses that I can wear because I actually like wearing like some of those. I have a polka dot cute. dress from the UK. Yeah, so do I. I. But that well, it's like a retro one though, but it's polka dot, uh, black and white. Darian Murphy, thank you for the one nine nine. Yeah, Wicked Da Vinci is great. I can teach you. I'm gonna like so I'll look into it. So how I learn how to use these video um editors is like when I need to do something, I'll look up a video on it while I'm doing it, and then that's how I get it to stick. That's yes. probably how a lot of people Good do it. That's how I always um, do it. Yeah. Well, when you switch from like one to the other, like if you do try to DaVinci Resolve, there's loads of people do like one or two hour tutorials. Just watch the mm -hmm. entire thing. It'll make it way more easy. And it just sticks. Okay. Yeah. Uh, Magnum well, Nord. You'll learn most of it through doing, but that'll teach you like the buttons and the stuff. The basics. Okay. Well, I'll look into it before I switch so that I know. Um, thank you for the $10. Jay Vask is takeover. Hey, did you know that Jay is a special needs school teacher? Yay. Lock it in, yay! Lock it I'm, in, yay! I'm glad that did not end after needs. <laughs> Jason Martin, or Justin, sorry, oh, I can't read. Justin oh Martin. Oh my god! What? Justin, why? Okay, what? Two girls versus two boys. Um, oh thank, yeah, I'm not even sure Thank you for the 10, work. Justin. Saucy Saturday Eagles no, 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 inverse no spit roast. I don't know what it means. It's just a roast. Yeah, there's no spit in the balls. I made a chuck roast yesterday. I'm not even sure how you'd roast it. Like it'd fall over. It it it'd be like a broken chair where the legs don't work it. properly. Uh, Darth Racer seven seven seven. Thank you. <laughs> Forgot to click on it. X-ray girl, show more skin now. Let's see the ear. I want to see your ear. Show me it. So Whoa! Wait, that, she Hold actually has ears. What? This is like this is like. Damn. This like Damn. this is like Damn. that my has ears. All right, I'll show you amazed. my wrist. I mean, oh, that, that is like scandalous! Oh, back so, in the day. Yeah. Ooh, wait, yeah. here, no, guys, y'all, I show my ankle. Oh, oh, now that will get a man going. It, it's a, it's a, a shapely <laughs> ankle. Is what I think it's to say. Okay, just in time. Hey, if you really oh, want to show, if you I really might. want to show, you should get to build a chair, a flat pack chair. Hmm, she builds That's shelves. Another hundred very bucks. Well. Well, this, this is actually girl's <laughs> weakness, like IKEA. <laughs> Sorry. I need you guys to hear build. my stupid laugh. <laughs> You're stream sniping. Well, what are you doing? Are you live? 
Oh. No, Mike does this a lot. He'll go live and he'll watch other people's streams. Really? So everyone yeah. hears my stupid drunk giggle? Thanks, Mike. It's okay. Yes. Based. <laughs> Based. Like he, he, does, he only does it on people he knows because he knows we won't like sue him. We won't get. <laughs> we, we won't clip. We won't like. Yeah. yeah Donna Hall. Thank you for the five. You should make Dan a regular on the stream. The chemistry was great on the stream and was really fun. It's hard to make anyone else. Like, it's so hard to get people's schedules together, but we'll definitely have him back on. Like, when Absolutely. he's free, we, that was a yeah, lot of fun. We'll get, we'll get Dan back on. That was a lot of fun. He's, he's um, a bit big time, though. Yeah, know, he's, like, he's like a rock star. Yeah. <laughs> he literally is a rock star. <laughs> he, he is. Yeah, so. You want to know what's really funny? So I was playing... Uh, Sea of Thieves on a stream with Jay. I wasn't actually streaming, but I was just playing. And I, uh, Dan was in the chat, and I sent the Amazing Grace video to my mom, and she loved it because that was her mom's favorite song. And she was like, "He's really cute." And he's like, "Of course she thought he was cute." Like he's like, "Women over like forty five are obsessed with Dan." Yeah. He started talking about how Dan gets stalked by older women. Yeah. And I'm like, "My mom's the, don't worry, Dan. My mom's not stalking you. She just liked your song and thought yet. you were cute." But yeah, my mom's not gonna stalk Dan. <laughs> She's just like, "You had him yet. on your show." Like my mom's like, "You had him on your show." You know what? <laughs> He's so cute. cute. Until he started making fort, fart noises with his hands. And his I still haven't learned. We're supposed to be practicing an hour a day. I have not done it. I can't do it. Sorry, Maybe Dan. We'll practice later. <laughs> I could do it at the <laughs> time. I can't do it now. Video oh, wait, at like two a.m. I'm doing like, this. Like, like if I had wet hands, it'd be easier. I know. You asked if he had wet hands, and Dan was like, what? You're like, no, like, are you sweating? No, well, no, no, but no, he would because he's in Brazil, so it's really hot. So he it's hot there, naturally. yeah. yeah. Maybe you need a man bun. Well, uh, I could have. Oh my God, just threw in a man bun. I can't. No, so who did that? No, someone did that before. They were like, can you put, it might have been Steph. Like, can you put it in a ponytail? And like grouped it all together. It's like, yes, you had you just put. like those tiny little oh, like I'm, alpha I'm, alpha I'm, thing going on. Well, no, because it, it came down to like that. It was pretty long, to be honest. Yeah. Yeah, really, I, I think I probably could have done a pony. Like, you, a I, I think, I think, one. I think it was Steph did it just before the cut. She was like, "No, you could actually group it up <laughs> into a ponytail." <laughs> Mike, that's gonna upset Disparu. You know he likes well, when your hair is fluffy. Well, no, unironically, when Mike did cornrows, I had to message him and go because I in the UK we you didn't were see upset. cornrows. No, I messaged him and went, "Where did all hair? Where did all the hair go? Like, where did they put it?" Because how do you braid? It, 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 it'd be like Todd. Did hair. you tuck it in? Yeah, <laughs> saucy. Um, it, it, it'd be like, um, well, it, saucy. Um, saucy. Like, um, Tardis hair because they they tied it all together, and you're like, there's no way all that hair went into those little braids. And he's like, oh, oh it does. Like a, You'd be surprised. No, he said there's like a load at the back that they didn't. That's do. what she said. So, yeah, to to see Mike's hair properly, you have to go around the back. I've had my hair braided like that before. I guess like if I did it in 2024, I'd get canceled because that is cultural appropriation. It hurts. Hey, so. they do it for a price in the Mediterranean. Yeah, well, Mediterranean. when we go on our world um, tour, we're gonna get braided. <laughs> yeah, wait, wait, yeah. Ireland's we'll cultural there. appropriation is just getting drunk. <laughs> um, slasher, too. thank yes. you for Rashun. Thank you for the Canadian ten. I got in late just for next drill. Make sure you go to like a range while trade. you're in Vegas oh, and experience some freedom. Lots of stuff you can shoot in Canada or the UK. I'll go to a range. I want to see that. I don't have time this time because tomorrow we're I'll actually go to a range. leaving in the evening. Oh, you're leaving tomorrow. Okay. I, 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 I stayed a couple extra days because I think my plan was to leave Friday, but I wanted to actually spend time with this. Yeah. Like, yeah. It it's worth it. Yeah. Yeah. It's worth it. Um, Melodic, thank you for the 10. Hashtag bring back Dan Vaz. He'll come back soon when he's done being a rock, rock star. star for a couple a of days. Chad. A Chad. A Chad. Yeah. Dan Chad Vask. I think Dipsy Whipsy might be a tiny bit tipsy. It was no. that wine to send him over. Tiny. Like, yeah, just a bit. A a tiny. I mean, I'm listen, well, I, we got this brew to chug a big, a big chug of wine, and it was barefoot, <laughs> so I wouldn't even do that. So props to you. What I say? I think it, <laughs> no, I, it was him. I, I broke her. It's fine. <laughs> I said a tiny bit. He's like, you don't have to rub it in. Yeah, I'm like, I'm small, but you don't have to rub it in. Height small, okay. No, don't say that when I take a sip. That makes it worse. That means they can't even burns. interpret it. I said like, he height. definitely doesn't mean he height tall, he's tiny somewhere else. We also I found out that this brew actually, I, I love how the camera's shaking. It's so intense over there. 
She's a great a wife. wife. Okay. Yes, she only shocked. You want to know something? She's she was like a temporary wife to me when we spent the the night together. Not in a bad way, Shush Chat. I know where you're going with this. She gave me food. She like came with like this casserole thing, and she was like, "Try this," and it was like sausage and stuff, and it was really good. I don't know what it was, but it was like a keto thing, and she was like, "Here, try this." She was feeding me and making sure I was good. She's a good wife. Uh, well. <laughs> <laughs> that's what you think a good wife is just feeding you no 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 maybe like yeah. most, most men would agree to be fair they would agree <laughs> exactly I like to think I think about other people but like Mel Melissa don't. confirmed it <laughs> Melissa confirmed it because I was like I want to send I, I want to send a hat to like the people who couldn't make it like on our team and it's just like but I what hat like, I don't uh, know like an F I never, I never got a hat I got a hat got though so Wait, do you not have an FNT hat? No. Okay, we'll figure that. Anyways, so I don't even have an MVP hat. I was, I'm, I'm. Oh, that would be an MVP thing. That's yeah. not my jurisdiction. You're gonna have to him. talk to him about that. I, I was like, he's even more attractive in real life. I was like, Jesus Christ. You know what? That is You're a guy. Like, go gay for uh, no. That, Max I, right I, now. I, I've heard Max say that um, he's talked about like relationships in California and stuff. I'm like, that is it's not. That, that is a guy who should not be struggling with relationships it, anywhere really in the world. He shouldn't. But the problem is, he is white and he is an you know retired Based. marine, and they don't like that there. Shout out MVP. If you are a single based girl who likes little nerdy things in California. Let me know. Or she got into her like. Travel. I love how she got into her like her like advertiser voice. If you yeah. are single and you would like to see date my friend Max, but you got to be based <laughs> like nerdy things. <laughs> Call no, 079. No, <laughs> you're you're going to have to be friends with me and Kara. And we're true. There are downsides, home. but you also get to date Max. Mm -hmm. Well, that's a very big plus to be friends with X Ray and Kara. Like, that's that's like <laughs> a plus for you. I like so. how we went on different routes. I I was we did. Downside. Totally dissed me. Yeah, yeah. We can I, find I think it. Immediately That's you up. worth it. That's the sisterhood for you, right there. <laughs> <I know. laughs> That's the sisterhood versus the English. I, I always say this like, I love Max as my friend. And if he has to date a normie and he can't be a part of the world, and this has happened to a few of my guy friends, and they mean the world to them, I'm okay letting them go as a friend because that makes them. I'm happy. not. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I, I'd be like, you should ditch her and get with someone that you actually like is worth it, rather than destroying yourself as a human being in order to get with them. There we go. Oh, we Chad's all, we is talking. <laughs> Chad, like, Chad, no, Ma Max, Max all is, here tonight. Max is worth more than some random bint. Ah, because oh, hold on. Look at him. Oh. Yeah, I'm I'm trying to make what what the the, the brotherhood. Please, please. Oh, oh, yes. oh. I because to... I'm worth it. Yeah. Sorry, oh, it's because I lost some guy friends to girlfriends, and same, you know, they... yeah. So they were manipulated then, probably. But I don't want to stand the way of love it, it's like I, I've had people that I used to play games with who uh, their wives over time would literally uh, dig and dig and dig or manipulate where the computer was in the house so they could guilt <laughs> them yeah. to just stop playing games. Um, yeah, it happens a lot. And I, it's one of the things, reasons why I think it's never worth it. It never is. There we go. Those are the people you shouldn't be with. I think... I, I didn't see what that was. I just saw oh, this stream. Can you pull it up again? Oh, Ian? Yeah. He said this stream has been like overhearing a conversation on a train. It probably is. You're welcome. And they were, and they were uh, roommates. Fair, isn't that like most of our streams in this? It's like... Yeah, this is source, real life conversations. To Saucy Saturdays just goes wherever the conversation takes you. And I love <laughs> that, though. That's like, why... This is... One of my favorite streams of the week. Yeah, I, it I like it because I see and this. It actually like, has like twenty, so it's kind of hard for her to pick just one. But I'm glad it's up there. <laughs> well, I yeah, I see this as like where I relax. I like make videos and stuff in country all week, and then like this is where I just like yeah. <laughs> We've had how many topics have we planned for, and we only reached one. No, we did two. We did Velma. Oh, we well, did we did no, we did two. three. We did Velma, Fallout, and the the bucket. Okay, it felt like one. Because yay, uh, I mean, so we have one yeah. left that we if we don't get to, it's okay, but we can uh, I mean, we have 20 minutes pull it up right I now. Mean, we, we have, have to extend left. the stream because we waffled about random crap too much. <laughs> like, we're like, we need to throw out, mm. not blue waffle. No, <laughs> nobody went there except you. I know you did that. She's, had, she's like, I know. I know. 
And that right there is why I won't look up things that people tell me to look up because I did that once. I think I don't remember who it was. Probably like Lethal or somebody. I'll you be did honest. Blue Waffle once? I looked it up. Ew. Ew. No, I looked it up. And you I was said like, you did it once? Looked it up. I said, that's why I, I said, looked it up. That's why I don't look up when you guys are like, oh, look this up. I'm like, no, I'd rather not know these nasty yeah, things. Yeah, but it, it's a lot funnier. Like we've seen it, for, but I couldn't find the video, but Blabs' reaction of like, what is um, spit mm -hmm. roasting? He looks oh, it up. Ask her to send she, it to me. Well, she, well, ask uh, Craig showed it to me, but she looked it up and she just went, went oh, it's when two men. Oh. Uh, 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 oh, no. <laughs> and, and she suddenly gets really bad and she doesn't say anything. And it's like, even the one before, she described what it was, and they said, oh, oh no. <laughs> and it, it's the reaction to fun, yeah. Aw, oh, man. I probably could figure out what it is, though. I don't want to look it By up. By the way, I don't think, Stallone well, you, was, looks like a daddy here. Yeah, but he's like he, okay, have you, has, have either of you watched Tulsa King yet? No. no. Oh, watch it. I watched it's Rambo, good. and that's enough for me. So I mean, listen, like, do you like gangster movie? Summer. Do you? Oh, I'm not about the gangsterness. Like he, I like Tulsa King. Okay, it's on Paramount Plus. Um, do you guys He's like? Seventy seven. Yeah, daddy. He does a good. <laughs> Grandpa. Um, <laughs> Gil. He likes an older guy. <laughs> um. Yeah, so, do you like gangster stuff? Like, like, um, mobster like stuff? For, like, for, yeah, like Goodfellas and stuff. Well, I, I like more like layer. I like. British gangsters, so things like layer cake. So you might, like, I th you maybe. I mean, I think it's good. I think it's worth checking out. I really enjoyed the first season of Tulsa King, and I'm definitely gonna watch the second season. I've been waiting for it. It got delayed, I think. Um, but it's good. So I, if you have Paramount Plus, check it out. Uh, or I know Disprew has other ways of seeing things because he watches stuff that he definitely does not want to put any like money well, into, which I don't blame well, him. Well, I wouldn't either. Robin Hood was released in England, or at least it will be, yeah, maybe, yeah, possibly yeah. in the future at some point. His favorite show. It definitely wasn't just released in Canada. Oh, okay. Look, if the director so, tells you to use a VPN to watch it, I consider that a plus. The Gentleman series was brilliant. That What's was that, Ian? Style. That's British. Uh, yeah, I've not seen The Gentleman yet, but everybody has said that's great. I've heard, and yeah, yet. actually, I have heard of that one. It's is it on where is it, Ian? Can you tell me, please? Uh, Netflix, is it on Netflix? It's, it's, it's Netflix or Amazon, yeah. I, I, the show, the TV show is, but there's also the movie as well. I which I'm not aware of the movie is uh streaming at the moment. Oh. Okay, um, well, Sylvester Stallone has been accused Netflix. of creating toxic environment. Thank you. On Atlanta set of Tulsa King. And you know what? I don't know. Like, maybe he could be. But I think, like, people these days, their feelings get hurt so easy. So if someone messes up and he, like, scolds them for it, they'd be like, wow, like, that really hurt my feelings. But also, he has come out, like, I don't want any woke crap on my sets. He's come out which, like that. So, there which, are a subset good. of you actors and actresses that I really enjoy that are like that. And the first one that comes to mind is Emily Blunt. Because yeah. then I know they've screened the script. Exactly. That's where I was going. Like it. So something isn't garbage, let's smear it with toxics. That's exactly Kings. Oh my god. Hi, Kings. Thank you for the 49.99. All right, we should be we'll give uh, we'll give him a saucy. Saucy. I'm solo right now. Saucy. X-ray girl's pretty saucy. You can see all the cans. I'm, <laughs> she's I'm not even red. Everyone who thought I would turn I red. Am. But I also was in the, the sun a lot today. So thank you so much, Kings. Um, oh, I missed this one too. Ray, thank you. What is this? Tandric nerdism? Thank you for the two Ooh, pounds. I missed that I like one. That. Thank you. Ooh. Did Zisru not want to read this article? He just left. He probably has to like tinkle. Uh, bathroom. He's it's tinkling. Fine. Okay. Um, so Sylvester Stallone has been accused of creating a toxic work in, or toxic environment in the Atlanta set of the Paramount Plus series Tulsa King by making disparaging comments about background actors, among other allegations. Uh, Rose Locke, a casting director on Tulsa King, is said to have quit the series. A representative for Stallone declined to comment. It's we know it's probably bull crap. Like he's probably not really like doing anything actually toxic. Like they probably did something wrong on their job and he pointed them out for it. And now well, he's toxic for it. Well, does the article it. talk about what he specifically did? Because if Here, you don't give an example, then I tend to not believe you. 
Exactly. Okay, all I'm saying is the claims against Stallone that sparked discussion among background actors were amplified on social media, imagine that, by TV writer Julie Benson, Star Trek uh, prodigy, on April 8th. Benson posted two screenshots of on X and wrote, Got this disturbing news from my Atlanta friend whose background on Tulsa King this week. Casting agent Quint mm-hmm. because she said she was so disgusted. My friend is feeling anxious about working now uh, at the slice alone. Why do you have to, what do you have to say for yourself, sir? sir beyond disappointed, I'm livid. So there's no examples. Are you okay? That, so she, no, he, he heard the important she, he part. Said no. And it was stupid. <laughs> no. She, look, X ray kills mine because apparently incredibly sensitive. Exactly. Monster. <laughs> what happened? What did I miss? Why are you being mean to X ray girl? I did nothing. Someone throw a pillow at him. To see someone go tinkling, and I'm like, okay. No, no, no. They just assumed you're tinkling. Oh, okay. They didn't hear. It. They didn't. Hear I it. Yeah, I said it. Bathroom. I said it. I was like, he's tinkling. Oh, okay. <laughs> that was, was me. Like, oh my god! If you heard the well, water, you should have heard it when I went like the last two times. If that was the case, I, I have seen uh, people wear like wireless mics and forget to turn them off when they got into a bathroom. No. Yeah, and people just heard them all the time, and, and then they, they come back and just start talking, in. and everyone's laughing. They just look like a big doo doo. Well, if you're in trouble, just well, this thing, not all, in trouble. I was in that. All I heard if was anyone's in trouble, it's probably actually. I'm like, okay, fair enough. Like, where, <laughs> where do you think people go when they mute their cameras? <laughs> he, he took his 38 seconds. That's I usually go. Yeah, right? That's true. Yeah. <laughs> I usually it's go like to get a race against time. You've got to be back in 38 seconds or you get kicked so, off the screen. Those are the, so this the says, unwritten reshoot rules. It's all posts. There's no nothing. Okay, so the fa- the screenshot contained a Facebook post with blurred username, uh, recounting an allegation that Sloan was heard saying to the show's director, "What the f is happening with these effing ugly background?" <laughs> Meaning Wait, the extra what? in the scene. So okay, so this is what they're talking about. There was a post on Facebook with the blurred username of whoever posted it, um, of Sloan saying to the director, "What the f is happening with these effing?" ugly background meaning the extras in the scene and went on to say he and the director proceeded to call certain people terrible names and laughed at them giving specifics and then sly said bring in pretty young girls to be around me well based base it actually is because it uh, aesthetic is attractive yeah so bringing the attractiveness to your set even though it upsets one person ugly monsters there we go uh it 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 upsets people having them around because it's a jealousy and envy because you are not that yeah and it's okay if you are not good looking in that hollywood sense but it's so warped at this point that we're actually trying to go the opposite direction the pendulum's too far. Well, the issue has always been that there, there is a benefit towards just accepting yourself. So, like, the things about you that you can't change, which you probably should just accept because you're you never should. going to be able to improve them. But the things that you could improve are things that would be good for you to improve because you will do better. Anyway. Absolutely. And I have said this for a very long time. Comedians can, like, laugh the pants off of a lot of girls. Well, and- this is why fat people have good personalities. And if, if you're fat and miserable, then um, good luck. You gotta pick. Yeah. You gotta pick a struggle, homie. Like, you can't have both. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> lose lose exactly. some weight or develop a personality. It's all, exactly. and it's all. It's also why attractive people often don't have a personality because they never needed to develop one, one because everyone wanted to be around them anyway. Who's and then Taylor they, Sheridan? They hit certain age and suddenly they're stuck. I gotta look him up. Who's know. Taylor Sheridan? I have no idea. Last thing I okay. I think Sheridan was like a drink. Oh, American screenwriter and director. Oh, here. Let me see. This is him. He's an American screenwriter and director. I had to look it up. He looks handsome enough. I know. He looks handsome. He's got like like that strong jaw. He looks like a Greek god. Thank you, Kings, for being a member for six months. (laughs) He's like, yes, exactly. Yellowstone. He writes Yellowstone. Thank you guys. He's like, I said what I said. (laughs) Justin Martin, thank you for the 10. Labeling things as toxic reminds me of the parental advisory labels labels on albums in the 90s. Won't do anything but create more interest. That's true. Oh my god, it's a Streisand effect. It absolutely is. Look look at at, uh, Stellar Blade. 
like I did not expect the reception of that game playing a demo, not even the full game, because these people are bringing attention to it and they're like sexy. They're like the mm -hmm. seagulls. Mine, mine, mine. Sexy, sexy, sexy. <laughs> well, also they've been like starved for it because every other game, video game character looks like a bloke. And it started, I think, with like the first time. Well, not when it started, but the first time I noticed it was in uh, GTA Online. It was like it is impossible to make a female character that looks attractive in that game, just like a bloke. And then it spread and spread and spread and spread. It's like Sea of Thieves. <laughs> yeah, you just kind of, they all look like men. And the way you can tell, you just take the hair off. If you take the hair off, they just look like blokes. Um, yeah, and this is, and it, it's not like we've lost the technology. It's not like it's difficult to do. AI can mm -hmm. do it in an instant. So it's too. deliberate. Yeah. yeah. And I see like someone brought up Hogwarts Legacy. Hogwarts is a IP that relates to a lot of people in terms of the nostalgia and it did bring it but stellar blade if you don't know what stellar blades about the fact that it's sexy you are kind of drawn to that yes but the, the game itself, itself is Even. so well I, I was so great like the way the way the, the graphics are great on stellar blade so it's like it's just a plus for men like i'm playing it of course every guy in the chat's like wait a minute can you go up the, the ladder again like they wanted to see your buttons yeah, keep but, you climbing. know what i mean yeah, yeah. Keep can climbing. you just go back down like, the game itself is it's actually it's like tomb fun. raider can you make her crawl but she doesn't need to yeah but you can just make her crawl anyway <laughs> <laughs> yeah. well, this has been a lot i think like comic cons has always had uh booth babes so where it's just basically a woman that draped herself over the thing they were trying to sell why are you looking at me like that no no you've seen there my videos i just babe. do this I oh just, yeah I, I... get this one yeah oh, girl, definitely a booth babe see the... ian no more grifter she's booth babe what? now no. <laughs> this, 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 I, I just gesture to one side or the next. It just happens. Uh, but like this is this is a I'll, I'll it's gesture me this or way Aiden, deliberately. Okay. I, it, oh, like, one or the other. It's like there's there's a booth babe which I'll, I'll just do it forward towards the camera. There's a booth babe which kind of drapes themselves over the object. And then Twitch literally had um a bang booth babe for the drink bang, and all they did was just dance for stuff. And you know what? It was the most popular booth at all the TwitchCon, and they never had it again. Why are you so successful? That's uh, so there's... stupid. Like money? No thanks. I'd rather not have yes. it. I don't need yeah, the money. money because it comes from men. It is literally what men like is derogatory and then get rid of it. And what women like, it's like, well, that's what they'll try and appeal to. But they don't realize that women are not the audience for Twitch in general. Men are the audience for Twitch in general. When men are the audience for games in general. And the only studies that have ever said otherwise included things like Candy Crush and mobile games. I never once played Candy Crush. Never got into it. Yeah, but those people that play Handy Candy Crush have never played Hell Divers. You almost said Handy Crush. I heard that. Well, I've probably said a lot in this room. <laughs> I had wine. You know, it's disgusting. It's, no, not, it's, it's, so, like, it's not. I did it for wine. the gram. Yeah, <laughs> I did it for the Always gram. Always in search of the content. Uh, it's like it's what you have to do. I agree with the idea that you you are on stream a uh, a person which isn't actually a person. You're just there to entertain. Stardew Valley. So I actually bought that and I've never played it. You played Based. that, right, X-Ray? Uh, yeah. Is it good? No, I love that game. So I put that like, like 250 hours in that game. I've played. Jeez, I didn't know you played it that much. It's I knew like Steph and Krista were into it, it, but I didn't know. No, you no, no. They are they're into Animal Crossing, which is oh. like the newer oh, yeah, six yeah, yeah. year version of the game. Whereas like I like the 2D graphics. I'm good with that. It's a good game for the price. Like I have bought it on um Switch, Steam, and GOG, and I wish I could give more money to it because like how Ardu? much happiness has has it brought me? Yeah. Ton. I have I have it on Steam. I've just never played it because I wasn't sure if it was like um it's a great offline game if you're into farming. Oh, and, so it's just uh, like a chill game, source. like to okay. Yeah. It's Rue plays Andy Crush, Justin. Thank you mm -hmm. for the two. I don't want to know about that. <laughs> well, unfortunately. Oh, go away. <laughs> <laughs> unfortunately, we're live on stream. So uh... just don't do it on stream. We both, <laughs> I don't know who you mean by I hope she plays it, but we both did. Unfortunately, when I played it, I didn't know that my OBS, I had to mess with my color settings. It looks a little bit washed out, but I did play the demo and so did X-Ray Girl. If you want to see a better looking one, probably I would look at X-Ray Girl's thing. But no, yeah, it's still, no, it's, no, it's no. a little, well, mine's a little washed out. I didn't know that OBS does that. Sometimes I had to change the, uh, one of the color settings i did it after the stream though yeah, but yeah like we both played the demo 
Yeah, like SR, yeah. Uh, like, SR, you want, or something. Yeah, you want it to the same thing that your camera's camera set at. Yeah, because my yeah. camera's all like bright and vivid and great, and then yeah. the game's like washed out. <laughs> yeah. Oh. And did you use the skin suit or no? No, I didn't. I just got so I was so happy that I could play it, and I was just like, let's go. Uh, yeah. I, I'll I'll mess around with it more like when I play it though. Don't it's, use the twenty six. It makes it harder. Like it does? actually, it, it's, oh, okay. It's not as much um like uh shielding, I guess. Use the skin uh, suit. Well, I mean, it, it makes better. no the shield the, the skin suit does look better, but it makes the game more difficult. Yeah, so that's why you want to use it because you, you do it play for, longer. You, you do it for chat. Did I say thing? I meant her stream. Extra, go on, extra girl thing. I meant her yeah, channel. I'm extra girl boy. Yeah, extra like boy. Oh my god! Her. If you ever see, um, so while I was getting my hair done, Stephanie took a picture of me, uh, my nerdy home, and I look like a boy. It's her screensaver right oh, now. Oh yeah, yeah. You look you like a it. Korean. Yeah. Sort of. Yeah. You look well, like a little to... chubbier boy because yeah. those boys are. Pretty, you might take part in pretty... Alice in Borderland or something. Yeah, yeah. And every time I look at it, I die laughing, and then I cry, and die laughing. Um. Uh, but anyway, Stallone. <laughs> what, are we talking about? what are your guys' Stallone. takes on this? Like, we kind of covered it already. I think that Does like he maybe still have the uh the little lip thing he does. I, I think it's adorable on him. Look, I have uh, no problem with toxic work environments. I think this is a very feminine belief thing? that everyone should get involved in all your emotions and oh, is the feelings matter? I don't care if someone gets offended. I don't care if your feelings. If you look, if if at any point in your entire life you're like, yeah, but my feelings it's grow up. You're an adult. Children well, and, can't and control the their feelings. Adults like, can. That's the even, point. Even if we're talking about a very clinical moment, and I will relate it back to my x ray field. Like, regardless, you have to still do your job. And if you're going to be like, sorry, that person has pronouns or blah, 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 they don't like, and you don't do your job because you don't like them and that doesn't save their life, then you are in the wrong industry. And it's the same thing with entertainment. Well, my, my fa favorite thing is um, there's been several like celebrity rants that have got published. And in all of them, it's like, um, I think it was the Batman guy. I can't remember his name. It was like, good for you. God for you. And what was that? It was a lighting guy that hadn't put the lights up where he was meant yes. to. And you could you could come along and go, ah, oh, please, could you kindly do your actual pissing job? Or you can just talk to them like a fucking man so they don't do it again. Can you imagine that? Like, you're talking to another guy and you're just like, why did you F this up? What's wrong with you? You should know how to do this. Go do it right. And then they're like in the corner crying. <laughs> Well, pussy. Look, the, the, yeah, exactly. The, the the world has greatly gone towards. Oh well, they're feeling better, and you shouldn't say this but, to them. It's like no, you should I be grown up enough Kelly, yes. to be able to go. You did this wrong. This is why you shouldn't do it again. And people do get angry if you don't do what they are required to have you do for their job. Like everybody is here. Like this on a film set, it's not just you. It is hundreds of people are all working together to do the scene, and you are the one which is making them not be able to do the scene. I think it's acceptable to be angry that you are holding up hours of other people's work and literally tens of thousands of dollars because yeah. you messed up doing what you did. And so I, in like really tense, stressful situations, I have no problem with someone like losing it. and just go, you messed up. You shouldn't do it again. Stop. The and Christian Bale. Was it Christian Bale? No, no. Yeah, yeah that's what they were. Yeah. 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 And then Mark. It's Tom Cruise. Tom. Oh, yeah. He did it again. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah, yeah, yeah. Like, no, you are holding up the entire production. Off. Yeah. During COVID, put that mask back on or whatever it is. Yeah, because just, I don't care what you think you're doing. Do as you're pissing told and get down to work. And there, there's been a, a big change in like work is supposed to be some kind of big personal thing where all your emotions matter. I'm supposed to care about it. It's like, no, you are paid to do a job. Do the job. If you don't do it's the job, it's in the description. People, people are entitled <laughs> to get angry with you. Um, and so there's obviously lines. Like sometimes it would be unjustified, but. I think if somebody has messed up, I have no problem with just them being, being told the truth. And even if it hurts their feelings, it's like, well, you should have just done the job. You won't do it again. And that's what that's the way things used to be. You'd mess up, you'd get told off, and then you never made that mistake again. Absolutely. Because you got told off. Like, exactly, think about Nick. just life in general. Like, you, what, stub your toe crossing a room door. You're not going to do it again because it hurt. You're gonna remember mm -hmm. that, right? 
So why is it not translated across to real life things that are monetary? I don't understand that. Yeah, and an hour delay in a Hollywood set is literally tens of thousands of dollars mm -hmm. of other people's time. So it, it is important that you do things right the first time. And it's part of being professional. Uh, and you could argue that it's unprofessional to shout at somebody, but mm -hmm. these are people that literally waited around for you to do the job, and then you messed it up, and now we're all waiting for you. And uh, so I will admit that you're wrong. That's a different story, but people don't like doing that. But I, I, uh -oh. I for me, it comes down to what do people deserve? Um, and I have no problem with, uh, some people, cause there are some people in the world who's like, I don't know whether I piss you off. It's like with, no, with me, if you piss me off, you'll know because I'll, I'll have told you. Um, and so no one is under any illusion of whether they piss me off or not. And I would much prefer to live in that world because then you know where you stand with people uh, rather than. Yeah. Uh, oh yeah, exactly. I, I'd rather have a friend who's like arguably mean or like a boss. Stab me so, in the front versus stab me yeah, in the back. exactly. So I had a boss that would like, he was like a little extra with it, but I mean, I, I was there for 13 years and I lasted longer than anybody. And he, he had the business for like 25 years. I was the longest running employee. And yeah, we butt ahead sometimes. I'd be like, listen, like sometimes I would stand up for myself in certain cases. Right. But you have to yell at people. He got softer at one point and there was this one worker who was his best friend's daughter and she sucked and mm -hmm. he never yelled at they her. Take advantage. And yeah. That she took advantage and he never yelled at her. And I would tell him like, listen, she's screwing this up. She's screwing this up. This customer's not going to come back. They've been coming here for 10 years. And he'd like never yelled at her. And it, it just crazy. But, and even, and I remember in elementary school, this is something that stuck with me. It was like second or third grade. Our principal, when you got in trouble, you would hear him screaming down the hallway at a kid. And like mm -hmm. nowadays, could you imagine if that would happen nowadays? He'd get fired. They wouldn't do yeah. that. Verbal abuse. Like, yes. no, that kid punched, that kid like did something like punched another kid or or was like, you know, disrupting class. So he got screamed at. Did he do it again? No, because <laughs> he got <laughs> screamed at by the principal. And it was literally like, you'd hear that and you'd be like, you don't want to mess up because if you get sent to the principal's office, you're going to get screamed at like that. So everyone was in line. It's not like that anymore. Yeah, masculine morality was you get what you deserve. So you behave yeah. in a certain way and you, you face the consequences. Whereas feminine morality mm -hmm. is like, no, well, everyone's feeling spatter and we've all got to be treated equally. And maybe they don't understand. Maybe it's not their fault. Maybe society made them this way. Maybe it was their parents. Maybe they just got a bad upbringing. So it doesn't matter if they behave bad in school. We have to put up with that because their, their parents just didn't teach them the correct way to act. And it's like, no. The guy, but like you acted wrong, you face the consequences, and then you don't do it again. And if you do do it again, the next consequences will be worse. And it can come across as harsh, but it's how you make good, actually productive members of society and good adults, uh, rather yeah. than what we have now, where it's a load of people who basically just cry, wallow in their own feelings. Cry, cry, and cry. Nobody in the entire world gives a crap about your feelings. It's so, like you're an adult, true. children care about their feelings, grow up. Master the your same, own emotions. The same boss I was talking about, there was this girl who was like, I think she definitely leaned it like heavily left, right? Like at the time I didn't think about it, but she was like blue hair and everything. Uh, but she had like an anxiety attack on a slow day. I was like, girl, please, because I used to work both kitchens and I handled it just fine. And like, we all have anxiety to some level, right? And I had it too, but I still handled it. She left the counter and went and sat down and had like her anxiety attack and he yelled at her and then she quit. <laughs> like, you deserve to get yelled at. Yeah. There was customers waiting. The phone was ringing and you're sitting there on a the bench like, I can't do this. It's like, you can't do it, then go. We'll find someone that can. I have seen a TikTok <laughs> about a girl complaining about time blindness. Oh! And I you, have time to you have to accept Hi, time Rhino. blindness because some people don't know what the time it is and so they just turn up at work whenever they That's want. That's called responsibility. Called if you're laziness. not responsible, I don't want you around me. It's like I didn't cut my hair, but at least I blame myself for it. <laughs> like, and then Melissa corners him and he gets yeah. his hair She's like, listen, yeah. I would very she much like to make you look work. less. She's like, homeless? I'd like to make you look less yeah. homeless. Yeah. Just a little yeah. bit. This is the less <laughs> homeless look. The other one was a homeless look. <laughs> And at one point, she did say it was charity work. So. And now, Disprey doesn't have to get a haircut exactly. for another six months. Yes, exactly. <laughs> the next there time you, you see me, it'll be like it was before. <laughs> it, this, yeah. this is what she doesn't realize. She's like, I'm healthy. It's like, no, this is a losing battle. You don't just you pick. <laughs> That's a good point. Never tell me the ads. Thank you for the 10. People who suffer from the woke vine virus push diversity yet know nothing about adversity. Yeah. 
it's i feel like it's it's definitely gotten like it started with millennials and gen z is probably really bad where they just like don't want to work and i dealt with this in the restaurant people tell me that i should open like a buffalo like new york style restaurant in florida that would do really well i agree that it would but i would always be working because you can't find people to work or it, take good care about, of your business like it, it's they'll, not they'll... about not knowing oh. adversity because you do experience adversity it's how you deal with it yes yeah Keep going. Never stop. Whenever you find something that works, double down. Like, I, I always, I'll put it on the Asians here. There you go. You know. I'm glad you did. Thank you. Uh, they, they're <laughs> Someone they're, had they're to. oppressed yeah. Asians, okay? <laughs> Obviously, they're unoppressed Asians. But the ones that overcome the adversity and do really well despite the adversity, this is why they don't use Asians when they talk about representation as much. Oh yeah, it's a, you, yeah. No, you're right. Agree. <laughs> just Why are there so many Asian again. doctors? I'm just, no, I, I'm just I'm, I'm replying to Raging Rhino that says you have to go to Vegas next year in order to get another haircut. I'm like, that's the plan. <laughs> I get a free haircut every year. Yeah. 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 <laughs> like, I look like cousin it's by the end of it. I should be like, no, I brought a razor. His, col his hair color is very similar to cousin because you're not blonde. <laughs> He's not blonde. Of course I'm not I blonde. He was blonde. <laughs> I have no idea how anyone at any point. Well, you know what? To be fair, is yeah, that right? Like, yeah, it's really bizarre. <laughs> it's actually, so bizarre. It's always so gloomy <laughs> in London. Rude, so, like, so she so couldn't tell. It's, it's gloomy in the UK, I so I she couldn't tell blind, what your hair looked like. So now that you're in the bright lights of Vegas, she can see the real color. <laughs> I say that, but London was very warm. And well, oh yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. That was so, that was a ridiculous. He, you came over, brought the weather with you, and then immediately left and took it away. You know what? It's because I have slitty eyes. Yes, I I, I was in the uh, at the meetup, and someone was taking a photograph, and someone opened your eyes. I was like, that is massively racist. I was like, <laughs> okay. Anyways, go on. <laughs> Do you want to read this one, Disbrew? I want to hear you say this. Uh, Ray Glenn Denning for five pounds. Thank you. Proper money. Proper um, money. Yeah, bring back the empire. Uh, sticks and stones might break my bones, but names will never hurt me. That's what I was taught as a kid. That's what English people used to be taught as a kid. And now it, it seems to have gone by the by. I don't know where it went. But Did you see this one, Disbrew? Definitely disappeared. Disbrew texts like a teenage girl. He's going to start giggling and he's at least laying on the bed with his feet kicking. I am a teenage girl. <laughs> I'm a Seven year old teenage girl. Trans, I yes. guess. Yes. Relates to more teenage girls. But I don't know. Either. You just Basically. really set your phone down aggressively, x-ray the camera, just piece the phone down. Yeah, it's like <laughs> that's actually the fifth phone she smashed the other four during the stream. Okay, guys. <laughs> I know I know that you guys have stuff to do, and we have hit over. We actually, we we extended the stream, and somehow we still have gone over before we did closing. Because <laughs> that's just, I mean, we all also drank, the way. so like. Hey, look, when Dad appeared yesterday, like, last week, we actually went over, like, half an hour or more. Like, we did. Him, so. it, was, it was hard to stop because we were having so much fun. Yeah, you know, Dan was having fun, too, because he was like, oh, it's going to be late for me, and I have to go. Yeah. And he didn't leave. Yeah. He stayed. Two hours. Like, I, and then he got, I think he got hyped because he's like, I'm going to play some games after this. He didn't go to bed. He's like, he had so much fun. We got him all hyped. <laughs> hey, he's always welcome back. Anytime. Of course. I know. We, oh, hold on. Hold Dan, on. We need to get him to a million, actually. Yes. Yeah, listen. Eventually. If, if you want more of this. We, damn. Go sub to Dan. <laughs> Damn. 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 <laughs> um, so what okay, you guys are going home tomorrow, right? Both of you? No. So oh, that's um, not tomorrow. I'm coming home like at 11 30 p.m. in the night. So it'll happen eventually. But um Doctor Who stream Monday, we're gonna go to the finale of season three. Uh the three parter for Martha and tenants uh run and it feels like it's been too long i gotta rewatch the first part and uh my birthday on tuesday real bbc my own personal stream and mocks are Dance. you doing a birthday yeah. stream yeah on tuesday okay i'll be there yeah I'll, I'll, I'll congratulate mark on his birthday thank you it's mark's birthday on tuesday yeah <laughs> it's definitely really coincidental that both of you have the same birthday um, really yeah do you do you have anything coming out uh, 
I almost said X-ray. The sprue. The sprue. Yeah, X-ray. 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 I'm trying to say X-ray. Uh, it was like, um, uh, yeah, I, I don't know what's coming next video wise, but the next big series review will be um, Velma because I was going to do Fallout, but everyone keeps saying it's good and that kind of takes the fun out of it. So He only likes to review like, bad stuff show. so he can no. yell about it. Yeah, like, there's, there's, there's nothing interesting to talk about in like good shows. Wait, I mean, Mazda I, and X-Ray have the same birthday? Sorry. That's like that, a what? Risk of time. What? Well, I mean... I have no idea. Yeah, what if sorry, just, sorry for cutting you out. Just screw, that was cheese. very. Me too. I'm gonna eat some cheese you're, after yeah. this. You're, you're Italian. Oh wait, sorry, you're American. I'm Italian. I'm sorry. No, I'm an American. She's American. Yeah, she hasn't even <laughs> been to Italy. It's true. I've been to I'm Italy. Not, all I'm saying is one of the key fundamental parts of me being maybe English I'm poor in this Peru. I've been to England. <laughs> maybe I'm poor in this Peru. <laughs> Can't afford to go to Italy. Why did you have to open up that wound? England takes all of your money. <laughs> but I'm poor. Jesus. They oh, tax Rhino. Everything. Oh, you're, so he's like, Mark. You're Rhino. Rhino. With me. Stop <laughs> it. I got a message in. It's Moz's birthday every day. It's his sweet Mark. 16 it's, coming it's like, up. <laughs> I think Moz gets born anew every single day. I think he has a 24 hour lifespan, but just breeds really quickly. <laughs> this is why people are like, were you born yesterday? It's like, yes, actually. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Go no, back, no, go back goes, to the local bakery for goes, goes, shoes. He goes, mmm. Mmm. Mm. <laughs> and it like spreads. When, when Mozzie comes up with a meme, Lethal starts doing it, Blab starts doing it, and it like goes out from and there. It just catches on. Like, Everyone goes yeah. into my chat and they'll be like, mmm, yeah. wicked. What? And I'm like, <laughs> it, it is literally the Mozzie virus. It Fred. is. He's spreading. Watch he's out. Like, you out. might be next. Yes. There <laughs> is no protection. There is no safe space. Masks don't but help. But take this experiment on oh, no. it. Sorry. If Wrong you can stream. find them. If no one else can help. <laughs> Wrong stream. Born yesterday, <laughs> but stayed up all cool. damn damn night. <laughs> yes. What is, what's coming up for you, Wicked? Um, I have, I want to do a 5k celebrate. Yeah, I am tomorrow. Yeah. No, um, I want to have a 5k celebration stream. Um, but I don't know exactly what that's going to be. Go, Does this accent sound Italian to you? Do I sound Italian? Yeah, that one. <laughs> Eight out of 10. That was a good one. I couldn't hear it because we were like kind of far from the mic, but it sounded kind of bassy. So you get an eight out of 10 for that one. Um, <laughs> you definitely invent any um on mind. Monday, there's going to be a, I'm going to actually be there this week for the History of Pirates stream. Um, I don't know what pirate we're talking about yet, but you know, come hang out. Figure out. Um, we'll figure it out. We haven't decided yet. Um, it's just Jay. He's just like, I want to do a stream talking about himself. We're gonna talk about Jay and the fire hat. Yeah. yeah, it's gonna be great. <laughs> He's um, just like, I've got a tricorn hat and lived in Orlando for a bit, my lady. <laughs> um, and yeah, gaming streams is gonna go on. And I, oh, Monday, my morning show on Monday. I can't remember what Ooh, I have going on. This Monday? So, awesome. Yeah, yeah. I'm changing it to like a gaming coffee stream so I could like, and I want to play something chill. So I'll, I'll figure it out. <laughs> and uh, still beans. Yeah. yeah, so that's what I got going on. Not much, just gaming streams and a couple other streams. And then oh, next, can I promote one thing? Yeah, go for it. Um, Mr. anything? Porkchop, shut the fuck! Oh my god! <laughs> Please, sir, can I promote this thing that I've just come up with? No, I almost she almost just cussed at him. <laughs> Please, sir. Yeah, she was gonna drop Rachel slows. You should hear her. Off yeah. You should hear her off stream. Jeez. I got an N word card, but I'm not using it. Yeah. Anyway, well, um... on camera. The rest of the week, though. I, I, I went dizzy and had to steady myself on the couch. Myself and Mr. Porkshop are going to do a gaming um, podcast starting next Tuesday. Oh, is it going to be an every week thing? Uh, I believe Or just so. like, oh. Uh, 7 or 8 a.m. Eastern. It's early. I have, Eastern. To, I have to re-chat with him. About the day? <laughs> no, the time. Oh. Oh, the time. Okay. Yeah. Ooh, nice. I will try. I'll probably have to watch the replay because I that's like when I'm waking up having my coffee. But maybe I might be able to catch it, actually. My coffee. coffee. My coffee. My okay, coffee. Anyway, sorry, I Typ to typical you. Italian accent, though. Um, <laughs> I'm not Italian, though. I'm American. <laughs> <laughs> um, Finally, we agree on something. <laughs> so, 
guys, this has been fun. We're going to let them go have fun at Vegas. <clears throat> I actually have a gaming stream after this. How so, if you want to hang out? No. Oh. Are we raiding yourself? Uh, no, I got to, like, <laughs> it's going to be a little bit. I don't have it set up or anything. So, uh, yeah. Oh, shut up. Just run. <laughs> no, <laughs> man. So, yeah, I have the gaming stream after this. I almost forgot <laughs> to about that. What they talk about. Oh. Uh, so, yeah, give me, like, I just need, like, 20 minutes, 15, 20 minutes to stretch my legs. I've been sitting no, for three exactly. hours. <laughs> oh, my God. Have uh, good luck, X-Ray girl. So uh, this brew is going to be a handful tonight. Good thing you got uh, a couple people to help you carry him around. <laughs> hey, look, what do you mean? Carry me around. We've got a guy who only has one leg. I'm sure he could carry you just fine. <laughs> Literally. He's very able. Could actually, it, like, genuinely. This crew genuinely. is yeah. a motley crew. This is probably the most diverse crew. We got a one-legged man. We got a British person. The only an person American from a different person. Person and a Canadian. So. <laughs> very much. Just like our stream, except we don't have, uh, yeah. We're going to send it to the A well, team. Mark, Mark plays Helldivers with us, so the Helldivers stream is pretty I've got diverse. the milk, but I refuse <laughs> to fly. <laughs> Next week. Okay. All right, guys. They're going to go have fun. I'm sure we'll see all the pictures and everything. Thank you for hanging out. You guys be careful. Have fun. Bye. Bye, everyone. See ya.